I was saying something really important, you know? Well, I had to get up to, to close my door and make sure it was nice what? and locked tight. What? I care about your door. Your door is stupid. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say about my about my door. Anyway, uh, sorry, this is very... Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're back with another Ace Attorney stream. Oh my god, guys, happy clappies. Um, I hope you guys have been having a fantastic week so far. Uh, if you haven't had a good week, boohoo, not my fault. Um, cry about it. <laughs> cry about it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it has been a week, and that means Ace Attorney has re arrived. Re -arri you get the point. Yay! We're back for Ace Attorney. If you guys forgot what happened it. last time, we started the final episode, episode 5. Um, or basically. Me and Maya, me, Phoenix and Maya went to a, what is it, Hazakura Temple, so Maya could hone her channeling skills. Uh, so we... you could also enjoy the channeling skills, what? question mark? It was supposed to be something like, oh, you should go there so you can really know what it's like to be a spirit medium or whatever. Yeah, but she went that there for a point. reason too. She went there for training, which is the primary purpose Did of she? the trip. I thought she, yes. went, I thought There's... she went there for the sake of... It seems fun. We should go. Don't you remember about her being like locked in a room across a certain bridge? Oh yeah, no, no, no. That's, That's the training. Yeah, but like, I know, but I thought it was for fun. No, <laughs> girls <laughs> Pearl would have done it too, but she's strictly clant. Clant can't. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Um. Anyway, uh, so we went over to Hazakura Temple. We met some new faces, an old one. Some old ones, actually. We we ran into um, uh, Miss. Uh, what's her name? It doesn't matter. She's dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's dead. We ran into Bikini. Uh, not a hot person. She's just you know really cute and like round. She's not like supermodel. She's normal. Um, who's like the main caretaker there? And her assistant Iris, A.K.A. Definitely a person we've seen before. Um, in disguise, anyway. And we've met Larry, um, who because it's Larry. was heartbroken so many times. It was like, I gotta give my shot at love once more. And is, is hunting for Iris, AKA Dahlia, AKA everyone's like favorite girl ever on the planet. Um, anywho, the, there was a murder. A uh, woman that you don't need to know the name of was killed at Hazakura Temple, and simultaneously, the bridge that connects the two sides of the valley was also burned down. With Phoenix running over to try and get Tamaya, uh, fell. He tripped. Oopsie. <laughs> Stupid. And we left off there. <laughs> He's just a little stupid. He's a little stupid. Anyway, I should, I should probably give you guys a proper hello. Hello, Jetty. Hello, Leah. Hello, Silver. Hello, Hunter. Hello, Antifla. Hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you guys are excited. I am too, because hopefully today we'll not have any annoying problems like last time. <laughs> I don't think it will. I, I've done a little bit of tinkering to make sure things run smoothly this time. Anywho, enough yap. Unless Mickey, you want to yap some more. If you if you want, you can. Uh. Hi, chat. <laughs> That's all I had to say. I'm sorry. I feel because I was talking for a long time. No, I don't feel bad. It was not my oh. internet, Leah. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. I would like to say a lot of your chat has been talking to me about how excited they are. And to everyone who has been talking to me about how excited you guys are. Right? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh about my god, Pookie, time. me too. <laughs> Sorry. It's about time, Pookie. Anyway. I hope you guys are ready to continue. We are here to investigate what exactly occurred on the night of the, I don't know what the date was. <laughs> Episode five. Oh wait, hold on. Oh. Before we continue, yesterday was National Phoenix Aiden glass bottle day because it was April 11th and that was the day that he ate the glass bottle. So happy, happy that guys. People are just making anything holidays now, huh? <laughs> I mean, no, everyone, everyone who remembers it was celebrity. <laughs> So happy eat a bottle day. 
It's the bleeding. Five, bridge to the turnabout. Part one dash two, investigation. Hey, wait, I understand why it's called bridge to the turnabout now. Cause there's a bridge. Not anymore. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Smile. Date, time, location, unknown. <laughs> We're dead, it's the afterlife. Who could that be at this time of night? I don't know who this is, so I'm just gonna read it. <laughs> you sure? Oh! Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! I was I gotta move the thingy. Oh, oh my oh, god. Larry, do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Larice! Larice Dunim! Do Dunim? Did I get it right? Donim. Donim. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's Larice! Larice Donim! This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait! Don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick! He... He took a really nasty spill! He dropped his drink! Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking! His life's in danger! What? What happened? Tell me! Talk about a guy with bad luck! He may already be dead! Anyway, you've gotta come back! You're the only one that can help! My Iris! My beautiful Iris! She needs help! Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I I'm at the detention center! Please! Hurry! I don't want to be trembling at the start only because Edge was very <laughs> <laughs> No! I didn't think Edge was going to be in here. I'm so excited. Holy fuck. It just took Edgerf to make me feel like everything's okay again. <laughs> I mean, not okay. It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. Are we gonna play as Edgerf? I don't know. February 8th, 2.19pm. Detention Center. Visitor's room. You're late, Edgy! What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, just listen! Something happened to my elite- to Miss Elise, and Nick is- am I in- Huh? Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right a visit. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Dunin. Donin. Ugh, can't talk. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he, and he fell into the river. The hospital says he'll need at least two days of, of bed rest. Yeah, th that's right, you got it! That was a very convenient way to recap it. But, but they arrested her, my sweet little Iris! And here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? The things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. Oh my god! <laughs> this is gonna be so cool! This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna have to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Okay, pause. Edger's gonna be a defense attorney for right while he's. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I love this so much. I love this so much. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, it's sorry. It's so cool. I know you're excited. <laughs> oh my god. Edgeworth equals insta good day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god. I'm begging you. Iris' trail starts tomorrow. With Nick out of the picture, you're all I've got left. You're the only one that can represent her. What did you just say? 
You know, represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. <laughs> but... but I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. <laughs> <laughs> How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I forget, you do her voice, right? Yeah, you do. Of mm -hmm. course you do. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Oh, by the way, chat, let me know if the volume is good for everything. <laughs> Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help, but... I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um... Mr. Wright, how is he? I was such a dumb at them. Mr. Laurie said that he... that he might even die. Are you static? I'll fix that. Okay. Give me one moment, chat. Oh my god, I'm in 144p. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, help. Hopefully that should fix I just have to reset the caption card because it fucks out sometimes. Alright. Did you read this? Sorry. Mm -hmm. right. Fortunately, you will be fine. Larry, you moron. How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Thank goodness. That was just me. Guys, if you ever hear something that sounds weird on the stream, let me know. It is so helpful because I can't hear it. <laughs> But he caught some kind of net of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Hmm. I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. All right. Because he was there too. Ah! Sorry. And I'm making us thinking. All I need is Francisca, and my life is complete. Literally all my wives, we got Goto, we got Mia, we got Phoenix, we got Edrif, we got Dahlia, we got, we're, we're just missing Franziskan. She's quite literally it. She's the last missing picture in this episode. She's not going to be here. Probably not. I don't think so. But, but it'd be I cool if she at least like popped up for a second, you know, like in a minute. Mr. Wright, I brought you some flowers like you did to me last time. I suppose. I'm now going to whip the sickness out of you. I'm going to... <laughs> You foolish fool. You foolish fool who goes down a burning bridge so foolishly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, wait, what does he say? The god is glaring at me. If someone glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor is what I've is what I was taught. Um, are you alright, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. The sound of music. The camera's glaring at me. Something glares at you. I, yeah, we already said this. Shush. Edrif is so me. <laughs> what does that mean? No, I just relate to him so much. I, I can't explain it. Explain it. He's just me. No, I don't know. He, he does certain things takes things sometimes too literally and or literally and i don't know i i relate to him so much i don't know <laughs> anyways this theme is really eerie and i like I, it it's played a, it's called the prisoner's eulogy i think is it the eulogy? Is it, it's like e-l-e-g-y i can't remember I yeah can't eulogy eulogy yeah no i think it's a really nice no movie. not eulogy 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 yeah, I'm pretty sure that means like apology letter. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, Mika's but. like an English teacher, guys. Hire Mika to be your tutor. A speech or piece that of writing that praises someone or something highly. Typically someone who has just died. Yeah. Close wow. enough. Yeah. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It, it must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly 
never leave Hazukara Temple. I'm put two black eyes on your face. You're not Mr. Phoenix, right? You can't threaten me anymore. Hazukara Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power can come to church. Wait, hold on. Does that mean Maya's gonna stick with Edger for this whole episode and we get to see their dynamic? Hi, <laughs> My god, Edgy, hurry up! <laughs> Mr. Edger, don't you have a heart? <laughs> That's a step ladder! <laughs> no, please. If I see a ladder this tree, I'm not clicking it. No. I'm kidding. You know I can't resist all the dialogue. It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual... Oh wait, I, I already said that. I don't, I, my brain. Yeah. Sorry. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual... Spiritual... Spiritual power. Sorry. That was spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No. I don't have any spiritual powers. Oh, so... Hi, Wolfie. Welcome to stream. What is this game about? Okay. Super duper quick one down. Hmm? Can I see it? Of course you can. You're a lawyer. You're a cool lawyer. And you have to defend the people in, this, in front of you. Or in front of you. We're currently in the detention center where your client's going to be in. That's the point of the game. It's a puzzle game that you have to, with context clues and with everything, you go through like investigation periods to find pieces of evidence you investigate people you question them and then um after the investigation periods you have trials which either happen in one day or multiple days or a max of three days actually but yeah. well this game usually has two days but... yeah two days but three days is like the max yeah. and so this game is basically a visual novel where you play as a character named phoenix right not right now, Not at right least, because he, he motherfucker I mean, nearly died. Yeah, he's but like, like whatever. <laughs> he, he's pulling a Feeny right now in the hospital. He's sneezing up in the uh, storm over there. Um, that's actually really. I'll get to that later. I'll, I'll finish my thought later. Um, point is, you're a lawyer. You play as Phoenix Light. You have your assistant Maya Fey. You. Hell, you discover the true murderers of cases. We're currently, right now, in the head of Miles Edger, though. We're playing as him, quote unquote, because yeah. Phoenix is in the hospital. Anyways, what I was gonna say is, it's so funny how many like correlations they're making of like Phoenix yeah. is sick, just like he was when he first was Stallion, because he's lovesick, question mark. But that could be it, actually. I, I, it would explain I why like do he's requesting Edgeworth to defend her, which is like going out of your way at that point, right? How's little Alex looking to stream? Oh, oh my god, god, that's so cute. Wait, oh my god. Hmm? I, I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? I've, I've committed some sins. Sins I need to repay. I need to pay for it. Like murder? <laughs> Sorry. Shut up. That's why I'm here. And why I oh. continue to train. <laughs> to purify my soul. No, come back. Open the menu. I want to see everyone. Where's Edgeworth? Yeah, he here. Oh, but Phoenix board. is. Oh, because we're in his POV, so his profile doesn't pop up. And that's why Maya's uh, isn't here either. Please, I need a Maya in this episode. You look so weird. Anyway. Because he looks tired. He looks old. No. He look old, yeah. Anyway, this is, if anyone was wondering from last stream, this is our dead person. <laughs> <laughs> this is our dead person. <laughs> this is our dead person. Larry jump scare. Miss Elise Adonum is our dead person. Looks like a prison? Yeah, it's it's a detention center. It's like, uh, it's like a prison before prison before prison. It's where they hold the suspicious people. Yeah. They hold you as a suspect. Anyway, did you read this one? I'm yes, busy. I have multiple times, actually. That's a total time of one. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. All right. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room at about eight o'clock. Later, I left my room to ring the be lights out bell at night. Ten. Fuck. Bell. We ring it at the same time, each night. I see. And then... And then... I was told to 
to go to training hall, but... I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I... I was frightened. Frightened? I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to a story. I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Are we gonna get the Magatama? You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? Oh, I drew so much to taste. Oh, I only did. Well, what in the world? Um, is there something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry, it's nothing. Looks like she's not aware of them herself. Especially what Wright was talking about. The psycho locks. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much! The, <laughs> the psycho locks. You know what's Someone's like exception really be crazy. They manifest psycho locks. <laughs> Sorry. You know, you know what's making me realize something? What? The way that there's probably gonna be a talk about. I don't know. Uh, okay. You know how last year I was talking about how Phoenix is not last stream, the stream before that I was talking about how Phoenix himself isn't really a competent lawyer. Okay. In my opinion. Because right. he has the usage of, like, psyche locks, and, like, that's quote-unquote cheating in a way. Like, a normal lawyer wouldn't have that. And he's dependent on the psyche locks, to the point that he even gave Edgeworth the psyche locks. Edgeworth's probably gonna be like, IS THIS HOW YOU KNOW?! IS bro, THIS- Bro, this- this shit broken broken! <laughs> he's like, they gotta bu they gotta nerf this, bro, what is- nerf what are they doing? <laughs> Well, to be fair, in Phoenix's I hope there's defense, a confrontation. the court is very demanding of him. It's not enough for him to throw, to remove suspicion from his client. He has to find someone else to put suspicion on and then prove that they're guilty. No, you I know, know I this. Mean? I know. It's just like, I feel like Edgeworth's gonna like have a talk about it with Phoenix and we're gonna have like a confrontation at least. Only because I feel like that's appropriate. I hope so anyways. I'd love that. I'd love to see that confrontation between them. Could be cool, yeah. I believe you said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. Hmm? Nani? <laughs> so do you have any ideas to what really occurred last night? I think it was the result of a tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed by my ass. Spiritual power? Yes, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. Like your father, this incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. You Edrif. just saw the sight, Edrif. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I am certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Donu? That's cat. Psyche locks. <laughs> I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Eh. What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all that you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. She could be pulling him out on guard. She's like, I didn't kill her. It was a shitty shit. So <laughs> listen. <laughs> it wasn't me. But it was my friend that I told them to do the killing for me. <laughs> anyway. I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. M me? Yes. At the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth. Then I will gladly entrust my fate into your capable hands. Wait, it just- Guilty, 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 guilty. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What happened? We could also have Pearl and Edgeworth interactions. That, that is true. We barely got any of those in the last game. 
I'm also thinking about Edgeworth v. Godo. He's gonna... Oh, dude, he's probably gonna be like, I recognize you from somewhere. Mm, a familiar face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, no, not again! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know right? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, it will begin to act a little strange. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? He is a very dear and indispensable friend. Oh, that's really okay. good of him to say. We can say that, true. It was five years ago. Oh, she's spelling! That's an A. That's an A. Deceived him. You deceived him. I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why, that's why I thought it was best he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. Ah! Oh, well, sorry guys. Mika's getting taken away. <laughs> I forget. Mika's little muted sprites. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna wait for uh Mika to come back. Because we don't continue without her. Smile. But I hope today we can get through the investigation period and hopefully start, or uh, hopefully like get through the first half of the first trial. What happened? Uh, she got air rated. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. So, so was trying to show me that my little me in Tomodachi life likes someone, and she's asking me in what method. That I don't know why it was so important to ping me. What method I should confess? She like sends an SOS. What do I do? They're trying to get married. <laughs> she's cut literally. She's cut literally. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Someone tells me you're about on. to change topic. <laughs> Tiffy. Yeah. She did it. She's doing it. The you thing she's been trying to hook me up with, the person she's been trying to hook me up with on Tomodachi. <laughs> I get it. Now chat doesn't get it. Sorry, guys. Oh, she, uh, the park. The park. Or she hasn't asked yet, but, you know. Uh, I would have asked her to save and then try again, but okay, whatever, it's fine. All right, you ready to continue? Sure. All right. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. Hmm. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. Yippee! My phone just died. Bring it back to life. Easy. That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. Oh, we got all the evidence that he got. Sweet. <laughs> We've heard this before, right? I don't think so. Because this is like a remix between like the village we were at, Dahlia's theme, kind of, and the investigation theme. I think it's a different kind of investigation theme. It is, but is that an attorney's badge? Yes, this belongs to Wright. Really? I'm actually a prosecutor. Oh, then why do you have an attempt since you need badge pinned onto your lap? Lipo? I don't know, honestly. Well, you see, I, um, I, I borrowed it. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm not gonna try and break her psyche lock now, because silly. I wanna make sure you actually have evidence. Alright, well, this is the only place you can go to. <laughs> 
please, I need right. I need, I need, I need, please, please, Pearl, please. I need to know where Maya, please. where Maya is. I'm so scared. Oh, yeah, I guess. She's probably locked into the Pearl's fucking other area. I, I hope not. That what? Scary. Really? I don't, I'm worried about Pearl because she went missing because the old lady was like, have you seen Pearl? Oh, that's She was supposed true. to come to my room like 30 minutes ago. Oh, yeah. February 8th, Dusky Bridge. It sure is a, it sure is cold, all right. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. Oh wow, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm glad you knew. No! <laughs> no, I didn't. It's me, a little, it's me, a little girl, Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh wait, hold on. Can I just do Gumshoe for two lines? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I haven't heard his theme in a while, I'm sorry. I miss him. <laughs> we haven't heard him for like over like two weeks. <coughs> anyway. No. Detective Gumshoe, you sound different today. Oh she did, never mind. No, I'm here. Okay, okay. Can I do two lines for Gumshoe, please? All right, go for it. Long time to see, pal. It's been about a year, or has it been longer? <laughs> it doesn't matter, Detective. Fix your voice. What does it matter? Sorry. What, is what does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch. There you go. Got my rasp back. There's that puberty. sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess, you were transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Come shoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. And there was a report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am. Detective Dick Gumshoe, reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Goto was gonna get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Goto? Didn't Adriff send him? Yeah, that's what unless... I was gonna say. Like, didn't he, like, give him, like, the uh, stamp of recommendation? He, he might have. He might have capped. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross. Pretty reckless if you ask me. Well, at least he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Now I see how he manages to win his cases in court. Blind luck. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen, just because just he is isn't here. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That's messed up, man. I thought you were my Don't goat. You, he literally helped you last episode. Come on. Or two episodes again. This is messed up, man. I think dumb luck suits right just a bit better. That's, yo, come on, God, bro. So Hop excited. off my mans, man. Oh, God. I'm so excited. You don't understand. I've been ready to see so much, like, Edgeworth. If this Edgeworth's, is... like, inner thoughts about Ray and, like, understand their dynamic better. I've been so excited. This for is, this. like, the fan service game for me. <laughs> That's what it sort of feels like right now. Because I know I know people see them as a couple and understand at least so. I'm not like, even thinking about it like that. I'm but. thinking about that because a lot of people see them as like a good rival pair in that way. Yeah, I mean, rivals, even, rivals even to friends, people, to lovers, to blah, blah, blah. Even the, even the people who like made this game agree, but like, whatever. Um, right, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying no, that I, I wasn't know, actively I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> I know, but it's like, I, I've seen a few people and now I understand. I've seen a few people make comics about like, a character that's like shadowed out and it's like what do you what do you consider right like what is right to you and then him going a very dear friend and then like the background of like all their moments together right and i'm like ah that's so like touching like he considers him a friend and still insults him about being <laughs> stupid and it's like i love seeing their dynamic i love this so much oh if you think about it sorry i just think about like 
Yeah. But Hunter wrote burning bridge, and he's like, I guess he's burning the bridges between people right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> between da- da- How did Maya get up? Sorry, it just hit me. How did she get up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I think Maya's gonna be like, okay, but I want to see where she is. <laughs> Hi, Nick. <laughs> I'm in a clap. I'm in, I'm in a giant ice cube, Nick. <laughs> 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 All right. There's a little shack down the way called Heavenly Hall. A shack? Sorry. A shack. It's like a rundown doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. Kind of reminds you of my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Giving a hovo a great name is a crime itself. I'd call it false advertising. See? Sorry, my brain. By the way, name of the apartment complex is Compton Castles. The name of, oh, okay. That's not a, such a great name if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. That's <laughs> so random. It looks like a pretty good distance to that fall cliff. Yeah, it's gotta be around 100 yards or so. Detective, that's not even close to 100 yards. Well, I gotta admit I'm not very good at judging distances. <laughs> It's about 20 yards or so, and impossible to cross without a bridge, it seems. Wow, you don't say. <laughs> That's letters are wildly engraved seems. into a roughly cut boulder. Sorry, continue. That's why he says, it seems. <laughs> Dusky Bridge. It certainly is an appropriate name. You need to get some glasses, Mr. Edgeworth. That sign says, Dusty Bridge. Are we gonna have gumshoes that's a, just, Maya? We have the same thought. I'm not gonna be able to thought. talk at all. I'm, I'm gonna so get so disappointed. Oh, you Gumshoe, get, get out of here. Get out of here, Gumshoe. No, Shoot. we need we need some Maya and Pearl action. I'd be really sad if they don't appear at all in this episode. Or in this uh, we section. We probably do, but like... I need a Faye at the side of the stand, okay? I need a little Faye. <laughs> I can see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs classes, Detective. Try reading it one more time. You know it's gonna be- <laughs> Nah, you're right! It's Dusky Bridge after all! I guess whoever wrote this made a mistake! <laughs> hey, it's a public phone! You don't see a lot of these anymore! That's true. Since we've got one here, why don't we take a photo as a memento, see? Well, um, sure, why not? No, darn it, I don't have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back, sir. What's so special about public phones? And why is he so fascinated by them? Oh, well, look, he's back. That's a lot of doubt about the I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. Mm. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. Sorry, my freaking voice is not working today. It's okay, Boogie, I can do it. There's a witness that's on the whole thing. A witness? Pale. <laughs> do you, do you wanna... I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady, here, on this freezing cold mountain. <laughs> well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. Edgar. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yup. Can't imagine that being that reckless myself. Well. Look before you cross. Is how it goes, right? Or was well, it? Or was that leap? Gumshoe, i sorry to tell you, you're the guy who was like, who got cra crashed into something. Like, yeah, you got into a car crash, or not even, you just crashed into a bowl. You just weren't looking at the road. <laughs> <laughs> Look before you cross, and it's Gumshoe. <laughs> the reckless in his competition, and my competitors did Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in a try not to injure yourself challenge, and my competitors Gumshoe. <laughs> oh no. And is there something on the other side? 
Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training and now they're stuck there. Oh. Yes, I heard that from Bryce. It's my affair. No, no. Her again. Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's going to be able to reach the Inner Temple until tomorrow, sir. Dude. If I don't have Pearl gonna today, no. I'm going to be mad. It's just, what I'm thinking is Maya's going to be in there freezing. She's going to be like catching a cold herself. No, she's, no, she's, she's going to wake up enlightened. <laughs> she went, no. no. She's like, because she's awake, probably, right? Yeah. Because like, her training's supposed to be like, she's awake and she has to do like, Meditate and whatever. In the but yeah, cold. meditation. It, it's like you're awake, but like, what is it called? In um, meditation, you are awake. You just have your eyes closed. But yeah. she probably realized she couldn't leave and then has to stay there, or she's locked in there forever. No, she, what is it called? She just like does. No, what happened is she didn't not notice the time passing, right? So like, what is it called? When when she gets extracted, she's been meditating for so long. She's gonna be hesus, right? And then they're gonna pull her out, and she's gonna be floating and glowing. Or she can just jump off the fucking mountain and then land on the water and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. She sees us. My bad. <clears throat> anyway. We should be all right in, the in this cold. No. So how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was the lightning. We're almost 100% sure you're stupid. Lightning? So who is this prosecutor Godo? I've never heard of him. Oh, I was right. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say he's a say a bad word about the guy. What kind of man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is it I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is it is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godo has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh. Yeah, he seems to have some kind of grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. None of this is making any sense. I better look into this Godo myself. You're telling me this. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep. Last night it sewed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weather data. Original weather report for the night of the crime. Add it to the court record. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the, that the lightning struck the bridge. Sounds like a little bit of plot bullshit. <laughs> anyway. Or it's fake. Now that... We got that information from the witness's testimony. Yeah. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry. I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. Oh, we're out of things to talk about. Huh? What's that thing doing on your lap, old Mr. Edgeworth? Is it really that old? You bet it is, sir. A prosecutor wearing a defense attorney's badge. That's like a detective with a license to kill. Well. Does this little thing hold that ominous of a meaning? I'm not going to. Oh, wait, I'm about to read this. Magatama received from right something about reading people's hearts. What other nonsense? That's cool. It's good that it has like specific text. Let's go. I like that. How's the lower wolf gamer? Welcome to stream. Are we doing well? To scream. We're doing great. Mika's losing her mind, but like in a really great way. In a slash positive way. Super duper positive. Let me just triple check that there isn't anything I missed on here. I just assumed we got everything, but. I'm gonna cry if the only person that's going to be by Edge is Pearl. Because. Poor Maya. 
I just know I'm gonna cry this whole episode. I'm already, like, shaking from the idea that, like, Edrif heard about Goro, and he's like, he has it in for right. Hmm. Frowns. <laughs> <laughs> February 8th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. I can hate him. Ah, damn it. Yo, Edgy, what took you so long? I'm so cold, my brain's turned to sherbet. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. What do you mean? Red is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. I find it so cool that we finally have this pairing. We've had we've had right butts, we've had right Edgeworth, but now we have Edgeworth butts Edgeworth. This is cool. <laughs> I like it's that. really cool. I, I'm really happy to see them like intact. Like I said, seeing Edgeworth's dynamic of everyone and his inner dialogue is really interesting. It is because he doesn't think badly of anyone. Oh my god, I can't believe we've gotten to play as all of our goats. We've gotten to play as Mia, and now we're playing as Edward. <laughs> what, what I'm excited for is like, I don't know, there's something like really charming about Edward. Like, he's never gonna talk good about someone in front of them, but it, like when Dahlia asked about right, he's like, oh, he's a really good friend. He's a dear yeah. friend. Realistically, he'd never say that in front of him. Oh, of course not. He wouldn't dare. Anyway. Where it's going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And if I and I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a second! Hold it! Objection! See? What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another and What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? This is such a weird gang. Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor. That's why he's a pro he's a prosecutor Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to play supposed to be playing anymore. Hm. Dude, Edgy! I don't see I don't see you for a couple of years and your heart's turned to Sherbert. I'd say more like Sorbet. It is rather cold here. I just didn't murder her, someone else did it. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? <laughs> Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to Wright, that is. So excited. <laughs> that must be the main hall back there. A brilliant deduction, sir. Can you hop off his... Anyway. Yeah, a cop off his gumshoe, gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to flatter me, Detective? <laughs> I love, I love that gumshoe. He's just like super happy to see Edward again. It's so cute. He's like, Yippee! yay, Edward! <laughs> I, love, I love how even he knew. <laughs> Are you trying to flatter me, Detective Gumshoe? Hop off my sh. Hop <laughs> off my schmeet. Um, we're really you have some suspense about that tension, sir. According to Wright, the head nun has some important information. I can't miss the opportunity to speak with her. I can. This gate looks quite old, strong enough to resist the weight of time. That's the best what I know. You got a real flair for words, sir. He I've always it. appreciated this kind of cold, old, timeless elegance. Not exactly how I feel, too. Take this coat, for example. Like a fine wine, it gets better with age. See? I mean, you're kind of spitting there, but, you know. Even fine wine turns to vinegar and begins to stink at some point. I suggest you wash that atrocious rag you call a coat, detective. Bro <laughs> did a dirty, I love, dirty. I love, I love him. I love him so much. To the kin, this you go. <laughs> <laughs> he already is, no? I guess he is. No, isn't. he is not. Because I was like, I just like him because he's hot. You know, he has a good. <laughs> he knows how to use it. Oh my god, like now that I've gotten to know you better, you are kind of hot. <laughs> and I am too, so it works. Because, <laughs> like, right. I like Liam and he's sophisticated and good with me. It's like, I really, really. I. Yeah, damn. <sighs> Sosa was cooking with Tomodachi. That's all I'm gonna say. Ah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this just gave me a great idea! Mm -hmm. Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. 
I've got an idea for a brand new invention. It might even make me rich, see? An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I'll call it a snow car. Look behind you, Detective Gumshoe. I was I gonna say, I was gonna say, like, bro, I don't know how to tell you this. All wheel drive has been around for a bit. <laughs> you don't need that shit. So, what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on something like that? Only after you take the first 1,000 test rides. <laughs> I can see a small bell tower from here. Hey, that just reminded me. There's something I've, been, well, I've always wondered about. Some tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. We call a person who tells a lie a liar, right? <sighs> Why don't we call a person who rings a bell a beller? Oh, Bali. So stupid. <laughs> I love him. Or truer for a guy who tells the truth. Oh man, I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight. <laughs> He's just about the show, he thought. <laughs> I had no idea he was such a deep thinker. Yeah, as deep as a puddle. <laughs> what would that make a deep thinker? A deeper? <laughs> <laughs> a deeper thinker. Alright. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? I like men. There What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Don't tell me you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> to put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. I love Edric. He's so reasonable. He's like, you're really gonna tell me this girl's innocent because she looks cute? Larry, by that case, you look so fucking ugly. You, <laughs> you be must fucking... be a murderer. Who have you killed? No, no Larry, you're so motherfucking ugly. Public execution, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, guilty of, you're guilty of making me reflex. <laughs> <laughs> I was right after all. I should have never come back. No, no, don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest! If I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much. Know what I mean? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh, ah, uh, forget about it. I didn't say anything. Iris, like a dahlia flower? Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Larry? What? Don't tell me. You think I might have done it? What? Get lost! Go back to your charted jet and get out of my sight, you creep! And I hope you, your plane crashes and you die! What the hell is wrong with you, dude? I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Poor Edger. <sighs> As I suspected, psycho locks. You'll get it eventually. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. You know me, I just don't remember. My short term memories my short term memories are wrecked, dude. Oh, we're not gonna get anything out of this idiot. <sighs> oh. oh my god, I can't express to you how like happy I am to see Andrew. I mean, I can because I have been for the past, like, I don't know how long. Yeah, you, you've been going off. <laughs> Come to think of it, when you were a kid, you were always saying, When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and defend people, or something like that. That was a long time ago. But see, now you've got a chance to follow your boyhood dream for a day. Edgy, you've got to do it. you got to save my little Iris. <sighs> this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Like, well, you like, right? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Say, uh, he right. said something about right that like made me realize something, and I forgot what it was. No, I'm right. Don't worry. I worry. A piece of dialogue. How's the current temple main hall? Do you want to take bikini? No. <laughs> <laughs> I might be desperate to talk, but not that desperate. <laughs> I can live without being with you. Hey, hello there. Um, so how are you feeling? Wow, he really is gonna stick with us, huh? Hello, I suppose. I have to remember what I gave her. 
Is it got the granny fine. voice? But like a little bit out of granny. I don't know. I'm trying to I mean, if you it. really don't want to take her, I can take her. No, I, I'll do her. I'll do her. If you don't want to do her, I'll do her. It's okay. I just, I just I feel know. bad because you don't get to do anyone today because, you know, the gang ain't here. <sighs> Unfortunate. All right, I suppose. Huh? Who's this? I... My name is Miles Edgewood. Bye, bye, bye. A handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. Ah, your circumstances weren't so tragic. I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Edgewood. You have, you have found her. Now what can I do for you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. Ha ha ha! If you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't take her. I'm very happy you didn't either. I did not want to hear I that. I called dibs. Miss Bikini, I called dibs on Edrith in a bikini. I beat you too. Oh, I thought you were calling dibs on giving him a peek. I was like... Question mark oh really no, bad. I call dibs on Edriff in general. Like, girl, you wish, you wish, you wish you could have Edriff. <laughs> Flicks here. <laughs> so right, Leah. Could not have said it better. <laughs> um, Miss Redworth. This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why did you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. Damn, he dig he cut deep for that one. Ugh, my stomach is already growling in protest. So, um, what's the latest um, about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. I just gotta look around. The thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. Here's the lesser Magatama. It's a precious heirloom containing a great many souls. Uh, huh? There's a lesser? What is the greater one like? The greater Magatama is displayed in the main room of Fae Banna. Oh. It was supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Karain exhibit. Oh. Sorry. But it was so large that they couldn't they couldn't bring it through the doors. It's an altar with, with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are a lot of candles light up on it, too. You know, I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Aww. You okay? <laughs> Dumb shoe. I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Poor guy. Gum shoe, it's okay. Gum shoe, awesome. yo, what, when's your birthday, buddy? I'm buying you, I'm buying you a new sh a scrap mobile. Perfect to go along with your dingy coat. I'll even buy you a washing machine so you can wash it sometimes. Anyway. Maybe you should blow out those candles over there to make up for that. Mr. Edgeworth, would you mind singing happy birthday to me? Aww. To stop that, cut that out. Please don't blow out the altar candles. I forget that she has this like really like shaky panicky pose. I love her panicky pose. Oh. <laughs> Who left out the parchment? <laughs> there are more Enza cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking out from under that stack? Mm, beats me. Would you mind checking that for me, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir. Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth. Looks like an old manila envelope. Yeah! What is it, Detective? Th this! This could be it! An ultra important clue! A super special clue! I suppose I should read it myself then. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris! Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall! Unless you want your secret to be exposed! Oh, this is quite literally just like the other case. Which case? Uh. Look at me. Ah, that one. This sounds like a blackmail letter. Note to Iris, found in the main hall. Maybe she dropped it. Add it to the court record. Nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth. Why can I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra-important prosecutor. A super-duper prosecutor. 
Well, I suppose it it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. <laughs> God damn, out here cooking his ass. My lord. Oh, it's a warm cat box. Where are all the cats? It's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are a type of zabuton cushions called an en called Enzo. Why are you giving me such a hard time, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Why? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. No, he's looking out for him. Shout out. Look out for the boys. There's flow script written everywhere on the walls. Man, I'd bet you have you'd have an awful ni awful nightmares if you tried to sleep in here. This is our main hall, so it's protected by a variety of magic spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. So if I slept here, the oogie, the oogie woogie boogie man wouldn't hunt me down for eternity? All right. Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? <laughs> the oogie no. woogie boogie man. <laughs> <laughs> Gumshoe oh. definitely is the kind of person to watch Skibidi Toilet. I'm gonna resist. You know I'm not wrong. No, I was gonna say, Stick it out your gat for the Rizzler! Not again. You're so skibbity, see? Not again, please, detective. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. By last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. You must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about nine when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. Channeling Dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Hmm. The way you're staying... Same. The way you're staying at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. If I had a nickel for every single time Edgeworth attracted old ladies, I'd have two... Anyway. <laughs> Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, you got the chest pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? It's okay, Gumshoe, stay, stay. All right, then. Yes. I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> I said, it's okay, Gumshoe, stay innocent. <laughs> stay, stay. <laughs> it must have been past 11, 11 o'clock. I know, I can't say it. it's too much for my poor heart. Nay, calm down, lady. I let go of my tie. Hmm. This is quite the shot. I know she's gonna be like, I was trying to pull the sword out of her body. Or some stupid shit. Oh no, my hand slipped. My hand slipped. Mr. Right, my hand slipped. I swear I didn't mean to. My <clears throat> hand just moved on its own. Oh no. I accidentally killed her. I didn't even mean to slap it right through her heart. I just slipped, I swear. <laughs> it was only manslaughter. It was an evil spirit that compelled me to. I was possessed. I was possessed by the wrestler. I can't. <sighs> I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other one was stabbing her from the back with a sword. Did you see this, this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. I'd be like, I, I'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Right Smack in the middle of the courtroom. And I happen to witness it from the witnesses stand. I'd be pretty shocked too, see? I know it sounds insane. But that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed. And then, I passed out. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, Jessica seems to be pretty solid. Oh, 
have a... The idea of I was doing such an a, a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural? A girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone? Mm. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? So did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I'd better try to get some more details. So who was this acolyte that was that was to trade at the inner temple? Her name was Ma is Maya Faye. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. After she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 3,000 times. Sorry. 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the inner temple, do you? No, 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 no. Of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of this. Do you know the small... That small girl. I mean, she's... She has Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? No, oh, you mean little Pearl. That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little... Pearl. Oh my god. I thought she was going to visit Miss... Mystic Elise after we'd finished with the dinner cleanup. But I haven't seen her... At all since last night. She's nowhere to be found. Y you mean she... She was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. The little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. And as they say, the plot thickens. I swear, if Pearl's on the freaking witness stand. Hello, everybody. Or on the... <laughs> I don't know. Some, some, I, don't, I don't know. I forget that, again, we already have our, our accused. <laughs> My brain is still like, she's the villain. So she's not the person we're defending. Anyway. I'm about this here. Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our attachments to much of, tran of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immature girl. I guess she lives in an immaterial world, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? All right, well, that's enough of that. Let's head on over to the courtyard. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my Lord. February 8th, Hazakura Temple, Courtyard. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, Detective. I'll just have a look around. Looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I better ask us to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitment. Well, it's not because you gave her your word, it's because you promised, right? Which is different. Well, different. yeah, but like, you know, he like doubled down, is what he's trying to say, I guess. You know? It's a, it's a lot sweeter to think that it's because of Ray, and not because of her. Oh, obviously. Because realistically, it's because he's of like, Ray. I don't want to do this anymore, guys. On second thought. <laughs> hey, maybe that's what they were referring to as right to Anyways, promise. I have a surprise for you. Which is? We'll get to it eventually. Okay. Well, in that case, I've got to be careful. Got to make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, Detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out, of, flow out on its own. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Yes, you do that, Detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? 
All right, let's start. So the gold statue from this, so the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called a shichi shito, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood. Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hill of the shichi shito too. God, I can't talk. Fingerprints. Naturally, they asked the prince that we got from the younger nun, the defendant. But fingerprints are on the murder weapon. What's wrong? You're looking really solid. This is how it is for Bryce. This is what it's like to be a defense attorney. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I figure it doesn't really feel good. It, 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 I figured it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. You don't say the poor things in the hospital. Chichichito, the apparent murder weapon, has a victim's blood on it and the suspect's fingerprints. As to the court record. My brain cannot read today. No, me, by the way. You eating? Considering how much dialogue I don't have. Yeah, you can you can just kind of snack and vibe out. I am quite And hungry. And talk whenever yes, you sir. feel like you want to talk about something. Is it led to it? I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight, see? Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? How did you know? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. What's this? Looks like a wizard stuff. That belongs to the victim, Miss Elise Downham. Oh, the crystal on it is gone. Hmm? It is gone, you're right. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah! Listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes. What? It's top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. All right. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. Oh, I love you, Gumbershu. I love that you're trying. You're trying to, you're so happy that Ed respects, so you're talking with him. That's it. That's what you wanted to tell me. That's it. This tower was made from made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Victim staff carried by Elise Downham when she was alive. Has her fingerprints on it. Add it to the court record. Alright, fellas, what else do we got? Oh. <gasps> and I won't be able to say the line. You can't. Go ahead. The main gate must be just over that stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of paucity pos of words. I bet when we come back tomorrow with Wright and Maya, this will have dialogue, I promise. Not tomorrow. Well, what do you mean not tomorrow? He's gonna be out in two days, on the last day of the trial. If the trial does go on well, three days. Yeah, I guess that's true. I hope he gets released early! Ah, I just love skiing! Really? You don't, um, seem like the type. Well, what about slits? Slits? Nah, they're a little too kiddy, you know. That's with my hard-boiled image. I'm sure I have fun news. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? It is the world starting to go mad? <laughs> this oh. guy's such an idiot, man. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I don't miss anything. Seemed kind of a slapper, I'm not gonna lie. Beep. I mean, when I'm Morse code. I guess there's nothing else here. That's kind of a letdown. Oh, we can talk to him, obviously. <laughs> the victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Elise Donham. Her entire past up until she won that writing award last year is a total mystery. It's hard to believe that in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by a, the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. 
Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. A two-story building? That would be about the same height as the room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right! Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth! That just happens to be the room that Elise Donut was staying in. I just want to say... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Mr. Edgeworth. I, I was so tempted to be like, no, Gumshoe, I'm lying. That's actually like a hundred yards. <laughs> that would be funny. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the soul. Well, this is an autopsy report. Time, 10 to 11 p.m. Cause, loss of blood from stabbing the back. Body fell 10 feet after death. Added to the court record. After death? Yeah. No, that means Wait. she died and then fell. Hmm. Add to the court record. Now the detective. Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. <laughs> oh, the classic gumshoe segment. According to the test audio sister bikini, they had none. Right after they'd finished dinner, she and Maya Faye headed to the inner temple. <laughs> it's animated like walking. It's really funny. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. At 10 p.m. after ringing the bell for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. Supposedly. When she got there, Bikini had her take over the take over while she went back to Hasakura Temple. Sorry, I had a stroke. After taking a hot bath to soothe her back. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini yourself in the main hall. In the temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Goto guy, but nobody can get a hold of him. They're looking for a replacement. What? No way, right? No what? way, right? What? Nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. No way, Wait, right? Francisca? That's what I'm thinking. I was thinking pain. <laughs> Hold on, there's oil all over oh, you. Hello, Hold Mr. On. Edgeworth. Everyone thinks that I'm bad, that I'm worse than you. But today, I'll prove that I can prosecute better than you ever could. Jodo is ghosting? He dead. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ugh. <laughs> I I was thinking Francisca. Just to like get everyone back together, you know, it'd be sick. I'm just saying, man. That's what I need, man. Okay. Stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Payne is the worst prosecutor. I, I have a I have an appreciation for Payne as a tutorial as the tutorial prosecutor. I think I think he's cool. Like I, I mess with him. I he's like a unique character to me. Honestly, none of the prosecutors that we've seen so far are bad. Like I, I genuinely like all four of them. I like Edgeworth, I like Francisca, I like Goto, and I like Payne. They're all fun. They're all fun to like, you know, toil with, and they're all like unique. Obviously. Francisca's like super like merciless and and harsh and like cocky and then Goto's just like very he has like a rubber band effect to him where he can just like kind of bounce back um he's very suave obviously um very smooth very uh poetic <laughs> and then Edgeworth is just downright downright like intimidating cold collected calculated cheating uh, he only did that once 
Um, that's his thing. And then Payne is like snarky, <laughs> snarky, stupid. Um, <laughs> and, and like when he gets back into a corner, he just breaks down in the funniest way. And I, I think they're all just, they're all great in their own way. I, I love them all. <laughs> what about man? Oh yeah, Manfred. Manfred, I, I, he's cool. I think he's a cut under the rest of them for me. Um, but he's cool. Where's my wife? I need Francisca. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are you ready to continue? Sorry, I just imagined her being like, well, 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 if it isn't my brother, Miles Edgeworth. Brother in spirit, I don't know. Anyway. I mean, she calls her him brother, his, her. Poop. She really? I never noticed. I think. Yeah, she no. did call him his little brother. Not bad, I must Even though she's younger. Alright. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Mm. I, w I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of defense attorney. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why, but I'm not the one you have to worry about. And the real problem is, is gonna be that judge. My <gasps> goat! Please, My please goat. tell me, please tell me that Edriff is going to wear a blue suit for us. I don't think he'll do all that, I'm sorry. I that mean, means he has to get like a. I'm just about to talk about like how the judge is going to recognize Edward. What? What? You think Edward's gonna put on a blue suit and he's gonna be like, mm, a fresh face? Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wright. You look a little bit on edge. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Get out of my court. Also, judge is my <laughs> my guys. If you ever wonder what my favorite character is, my favorite character Whoop. is the judge. End of story. Hello, girl. Hello. Yes, you certainly would remember my face, even after such a long absence. That's why I requested that another judge preside oh, over the trial God. tomorrow. No! Oh, no! It's the Canadian! Oh, Canada. A heart and native land. <sighs> you only met each other once. There's a good chance you won't remember me at all. Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office does know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a power powerful string to pull. Okay. It's it, Edgeworth. It's friend. <laughs> what? No, I'm saying... No, uh, I'm saying like it's Edgerf, like I don't know Gumshoe. Oh uh, yeah, no, he's kind of he's kind of the he shit. I'm gonna be real with you, he's kind of the shit. <laughs> I would, Gumshoe, I was thinking you even the shit. a very high chance that it's our. it's Francis. I mean, My who else God. would it be? It can't be Godo. Manfred's in jail. Pain's dumb. <laughs> what is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the Alkalites. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Oh. Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the Inner Temple? Wait, if I was Edrif, I'd just ask Payne to be in court. I win. Easy peasy. Yeah, I know. That's the sad part. I don't want him to be Payne. Nope. Not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs <laughs> on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. The only thing there is the Inner Temple. I hear it's not, kind, it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Aww. Aww. I love him! <laughs> okay, this he thing was way bloodier. Heart. Oh my goodness. Oh all my right. god. Oh my god. I love that <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna die? Oh my god. <laughs> You good? I don't want anyone in my family to think that I'm crying over something that's actually relevant. Alright, now the question is... <laughs> the question is, what do I do from here? You so, go back to the detention center. Talk to... Um... Iris? Miss Girl. I wonder if you can go to Red Law Offices. Probably not. 
funny. It wasn't a location we could select when we were at um mm, February 8th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. Hmm, I don't see Larry anywhere. Hey, we scared the poor kid away! His heart was shut tight with a number of psycho blocks. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. Yeah, the only place I can go from here is detention center. February 8th, detention center, visitor's room. Ah, uh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions if you don't mind. But I... I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. I touched something wet with my arm. Hold on. No, it's okay. Oh, it was myself. I, I forgot I washed my hands. <laughs> yes, th thank you. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hasukura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Donum with a sword. Hmm. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Faye began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. Hmm. I'd believe it. it. Looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. No, oh, I guess I'll try it. I, I don't like to walk alone at night. And last night was. What about last night? Bam bam. Uh, oh, nothing. It's rather silly. There was something special about last night, hmm. Mm. Looks like I have no choice but to break these locks. Although Silver, I know that I know I know what to do to trigger a psyche lock, I remember. <laughs> it's just that uh what is it called? The dialogue when it you It gives flavor it's flavor dialogue, it's yeah. also like helpful. Yeah, it gives me a little like context clues. Yeah. Take that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wait! 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 wait. <laughs> Wait a second! Hold on! Hold on! Whoa. She's having heart palpitations. I'll give her a moment. Take that! Oh my god! <laughs> beep! 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 <laughs> oh my god! 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 That means they're gonna hear. Hold it and take that in court. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, read the dialogue, hurry. We need to get to the trial. I know. I was frightened. Go! Since I have go, been handed go, go, this go, case, go. it is my duty to dig up all the answers. Understand? Yes. I didn't hear the last part. <laughs> oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my microphones. I turned up the sense. Y yes, sir. The smallest flame could sometimes bathe a, a case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Y yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. Th that's right. If that's the case. And the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? <laughs> Iris, I wonder, is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? So let's see here. So we have the map. The blackmail lady. Blackmail letter. Ooh. Maybe? Yeah. No, this is towards Iris. Yes, you're right. Take that! <laughs> I know you're going to lose your mind every single time you hear that goddamn clip. Because he sounds so good! Dude, I- oh my god. I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, that's- Well, Iris? Why are you glaring at me like that? 
You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you. Isn't that correct? <laughs> was it the evidence of the power of my glare that broke that lock? Oh well, <laughs> I don't suppose it matters either way. The pen was dead, right? Yes. I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to that would cause me any grief. 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 Hmm, I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there's one person you didn't want your secret told to. Phoenix oh Wright. God. You mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in, y in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? Hmm. I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his. Back off his mind, girl! Both of them. Unlock successful. Frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. Not to be confused with Dusty Bridge. <laughs> a small shack, huh? It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever, ever want to go near. Hmm. Where is it on this map? Here, to get there, you must follow a small path down Dusky Bridge. The reality is, uh, I had to go get to the Inner Temple, but I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be could be lurking at Heavenly Hall. I, I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. This is the secret that you locked away in your heart. Yes. Looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that is exactly right. Iris' testimony. Rang lights out bell at 10 p.m. and was then in her room until the murder was discovered. Added to the court record. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you. I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. He's so... I love you, Entrop. You're so stupid. <laughs> but when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. How would you say that? Yeah, because I may know who Phoenix Wright is. But... He has no idea who I am. It is I, Mia Fey. That is right, guys. Hi, guys. It's me, Mia Fey. Objection. What I the living thing. hell is happening? Feb. Hold on. I'm too stunned right now. My jaw dropped. I. It's a shipping shrine? It was a death. It death threat it was a threat to have a date bro was down catastrophic my lord if you don't come and eat dinner with me i'm gonna kill your whole family <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to shove this knife where the sun don't shine <laughs> Iris, please <sighs> my lord february 8th heavenly hall of course the goddamn streamers from you know what episode i'm thinking of <laughs> Yeah. With the weirdly colored flags. Like, who got the toothpaste flags out? What the? And Canada. <laughs> and weird colored Japan. And what is that? <laughs> Ireland. 
Saturated Ireland. <laughs> Saturated Ireland. Anyway, I digress. <sighs> Whoa, not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Tusk. Someone's here. I just saw detective. I'm gonna... Uh. Yeah. Oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I even chased one of them to Japan. Next going to be prison, I guess. I'll steal the detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. <laughs> he's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that? What does he do, I wonder? Hey, you! About what you just said! I got an objection! <laughs> I love you, Gumshoe, so much. Bro, playing this theme right now is crazy. Mm -mm -mm. There. Ooh, what the? Edgy, you dirty rat! Gumshoe, you oaf. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting out objection. <laughs> Phoenix Wright wannabe, shut up. In a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer finger. Objection! <laughs> See? You've watched too many trials. <laughs> That's so cute. You would be Gumshoe. In a, in a really funny way. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, Larry. The jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Ugh. Oh, his name's back. Oh, let's explore the place, huh? What is this festive-looking ornament? It reminds me of an art class in grade school. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with the origami, remember? But well, I... Oh, yeah. You were never any good at it. <laughs> really? Yeah, this guy was so bad, he couldn't even fold a dollar, let alone a crane. Everyone tried to comfort him, but he would always just sit there sobbing. Really? I never would have expected that. Be quiet already. I'll never forget the shame of that day. You want a crane? I can now make a perfect quarter-inch crane without a single flaw. <laughs> bro locked in. <laughs> it's like, bro, 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 the day you made so fun of me. He has like PTSD. He learned how to make a crane. <laughs> no, nah, he didn't learn. He mastered it. That's why you love it. That's why you gotta love it. He's got a commitment. You know, Edgy? Nothing for nothing, but a quarter inch crane without a single flaw is not easy. Yeah, that's quite a feat, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Uh, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. He's a. Go all the way to Dusky Bridge. It's a pretty long, but easy walk. I fell down four times on my way here, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, detective. I ate four bananas and tossed their peels on the stairs on my way down here. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what? So that's what I was slipping on. Be careful on the way back. Those deadly banana peels are still out there. That's a pretty important piece of information right there, Mr. Edgeworth. Put that in the court record. Edgeworth's gonna kill all of everyone. <laughs> I don't blame him. That's a whole graffiti problem you've got there, pal. You didn't know anything, detective. This is art. It's an expression of my bittersweet love for Iris. Larry, do you know what the difference between graffiti and true art is? It's how the artist himself defines it, right? I should have seen that one coming. Well, if that's the case, then all of my lunchbox are me at masterpieces too, pal. <laughs> Honestly, that's facts. Oh my God. Okay. The straw roof is totally covered with freshly fallen powdery snow. Wow, makes a nice sandwich, doesn't it? I always did like the rustic luck. Heavenly Hall. I suppose it's an appropriate name in some sense. You got that right. Look at that bridge up there. This place has got- has to be heaven because that thing is in hell. You would do well to remember, Larry, that this is a sacred place to some people. 
Yeah, respect. Put some respect on Heavenly Hall's name. Oh, man. Oh, guys, it's different. You are to the clues here. <laughs> It's a little far, but I have a pretty clear view of Dusky Bridge from here. Uh, I still can't believe it, really. What is it, Larry? Huh? Er, uh, nothing, it's nothing. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. I think about that statement smells, and you know what they say. Hey, when something smells. It's oh. the butt. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I don't know, I was like dying on the inside, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Eagle River, sir. It runs pretty fast, so it doesn't ice over, even in the winter. If it had iced over, Wright would have been in some serious trouble. Dude, yo, Bro would have been dead, dead. He would have gotten stabbed by the ice. He gets really I quiet. So That's just concerned. because she's being quiet, I think. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. I'm just here, guys. Don't worry. I mean, they, they meant I'm, volume wise. I'm cooking but something. Are you, are you drawing? No. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> You're right about that. He would have landed on the ice and slid downstream to who knows where. Not exactly what I meant, but all right. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. He's gonna slide down the ice like a. Yeah, whatever. All right, I think that's everything. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Everything a fair shake. What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just scared it myself yesterday. Why were you down here in the first place? Uh, come on, I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. This is a great little place. It's, uh, artistic. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. <laughs> One thing's for sure. No one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. <laughs> Listen to me, Edgy. You gotta do this. You've gotta save Iris. Why are you so sure that she's innocent? Because she's cute? Watch your mouth. Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm gonna marry that girl. Um... Mr. Edgeworth is presenting... He didn't hear you, so I'm gonna ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet. But I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He never imagined that I'd care, I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Well, Something tells me he sh would be shocked indeed. Yeah? Yeah, Dedrick already summed it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. Mm, I really want to know the answer to that. We're going to have to drag him in onto the witness stand. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you on? What were you doing last night? Oh man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never get, be a ladies' man like me. Okay, okay, chill out with those, those scary eyes. I got it. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Huh? Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. So why bring it up? Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? All right, let's get the second like a try, shall we? <laughs> I knew you were gonna make some sound of that. All right, the night of the crime. All right, now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I've been sleeping. I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing! The whole world in front of me went white. Like I'd just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. And then... 
and then it was on fire. The bridge was on fire. The ski bridge caught fire. Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? I'm telling the truth. Hmm. There are still three psycho, lo psycho locks remaining. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? What, what, what? Where you say? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Just answer the question. I, I was in my own room, by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. The, 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 there? W w what do you mean, the, the, there? It's impossible for you to have seen the lightning strike dusky bridge from your room. I'm assuming that has to do with the map, right? Cause like there's yeah, cause like if you look at direct line of sight from the building to there, you cannot see it. So I'm gonna present the map. Pookie power go! Let's go. Pookie power go. So I gotta believe in Pookie. Uh, you, you've taught me something. Very I'm manifesting important. something. I don't know how to feel about what I'm manifesting right now. What are you manifesting? Uh, what you're doing right now? I don't know if I'm happy that I manifested that. You've always done this to me. You know that, right? I know. Whatever you but do starts to spread. It's just Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I needed to believe. And now that I believe, I can do anything. Ha! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, randomly stream here. I don't care. Shut up. This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. What am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from there. Well, that's not the one I was talking about exactly, but it's fine. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? That <laughs> way he turns a smiling as soon as he says that. It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then, where were you? Y you don't know that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry, and why wasn't he there? And why was he there? I've read the situation up to this point correctly. The answer is fairly obvious. Very well, then. That says my theory. The place you witnessed the lightning strike Dusky Bridge from was here. The place you saw the lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging out in this old shack? It's freezing cold. There's no electricity and it, it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know that there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Ah, uh, uh, uh oh. In other words, you have just proved the evidence to. You just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. You're, t you're in a totally different league from Nick. Hey, yo! What an what asshole. He He's in the hospital, passed out, and he's still catching strays. What's happening? Well, <laughs> Everyone's hating, hating on him. Leave my boy alone. That's nice. <laughs> That's, like, not even a compliment to him. No, he's just me. like... Okay, he's like, okay, buddy. <laughs> Not a high ball, but okay. <laughs> what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. I don't, I don't know how to say it in French. You'd hate tans in French. It's coeur. Coeur. A fair decor. Heart. It's just heart. It means heart. Oh. You can say core. Well, it actually helps me. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh, no. Y you really are one scary guy, you know. Over that last night, you were waiting for this person to come meet you. You were obviously waiting for this pretty old lady. <laughs> Take that. There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was... Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over, Edgy. 
No doubt because of my chili glit. So you think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? D do you have some kind of evidence? Look around. You got some something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you were waiting for Iris. It's this shitty note you wrote. Take that. Here's your evidence. You call it to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey, g give that back. You're embarrassing me. What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudge you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frail frailty like that, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, oh. First of all, what's this at the top of the letter? It says salutation here. Well, that's what, I, what it said in the book. Letter writing for dummies. Wow, what the? You're not supposed to actually write that. That's why you're supposed to write, Dear Iris. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so he had in his book, right? There's like a template for the email, right? And what you're supposed to write, like, Dear the person you're writing to, it says salutations here. Because, like, that's the salutation. I <laughs> Oh, oh my god, Larry. <laughs> You're a different kind of stupid. Although I'm not that much smarter because it just took me that long to get the joke. Then what does that make me, baby? Well, to be fair, like in all fairness, in my defense and in yours, I you can greet someone by saying salutations. You know what I mean? So, like you might be like mm -hmm. quirky and be like, salutations here. It's your boy, Larry. <laughs> salutations. <laughs> anyway, that's what you're supposed to write, dear Iris. Whoa, I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, you're not. Bullshit. Get them, ch get them chains off the screen. Unlock successful. So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Sorry, Edgy. Sorry doesn't cut it, you scumbag. Threatening a young lady like that. Wait, hold up. What now, pal? What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? I'll tell you what, you try to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, pal! What do you mean, threaten? When did, when, when did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me a break. It's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? Well, what did Not you just you. say? My love for it burns so hotly, it can melt all the snow in this mountain. Oh, then what is the secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. You're... How Full how far up your ass are you? I need to understand. You've got to turn inside out. Like, Obviously, she wouldn't want old lady Bikini to know about it, right? <laughs> about our hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. With... Who? <laughs> oh my god. A hot and sour, bitter love affair. All right, Everything then. but sweet. <laughs> Alright then, why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? <laughs> Nothing screams hot and sexy like manila envelope. <laughs> Let's go. Here's your tax letter, but it's my love. <laughs> Give me a break. It's not my fault I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh. And why were you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it? That's what all those huge locks were about? <laughs> he was just scared of him. I, I don't understand why you were so defensive. Well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is... You shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Hey, come on, don't let it get you down. But, but Mr. Edgeworth, this guy is still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy s said just a minute ago. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry. But what? You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. 
Okay, I thought, I thought the game was gonna throw us another Psyche log. I, I already told you, didn't I? I saw lightning strike the dusky bridge. Yes, and I believe it was that I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. W what does it? That's all there is to your story. Your heart wouldn't have had those all had all those locks. Therefore, Larry. I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. What? what? When? Where? Why? How? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you had anything for Mr. Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. <laughs> I love gum. She's like, good cop. What? Wait, really? What the hell is oh, happening? What? My God. No. <laughs> oh, what's no. wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you getting me out, growing at me like that? Like I'm the next to be hit by a ball of lightning. I just about had it with this ho Harley Quinn. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Yeah, he's like, I ain't messing with the psyche lock shit. I'm doing it myself. To be continued. Is he gonna be alone at the? Oh my god. <laughs> Pearl, I, I miss know. Maya. I know you miss I talking miss too. Talking, I miss. Listen, yapping. fingers crossed. Francisca's on the other side of the prosecution bench, and you gotta do it. Okay. I'd love it if it was true. I don't. I'm going it was. to cry. I'm really sorry. It's not true. <laughs> Let me see my wife. One more time. I really hope it's true. <laughs> the one thing I'm sad about is I'm gonna have to do the shitty judge. They better be okay. Uh, they should be. Don't worry. Anyway. Uh, it's time for the trial. I'm shocked we actually made it with like a decent amount. We saw like two hours left. So we have plenty of time to burn through this trial. Hopefully we can get through both parts better. today. Hmm? And just just better. So. What do you mean better? Like he's better like. like he's the goat. He's he is the better. goat. You're right. He is the goat. How'd you know? Anyway. You ready? No. Do you want to take a break? <laughs> No, I am really kind of. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm hey, nervous. I understand. Just nervous. I get it. <laughs> I'd be nervous too. There, there's a lot of things Ooh. going on. And I'm excited. <laughs> See how it, you know, how it boils down. All right. I'm yeah. So nervous. <laughs> I'm ready to start when you are. Uh, let me let me quickly do a few things. Okay. What was the surprise you were tell telling me about? Mm hmm. What was the surprise you were telling me about? Mm, it's nothing big. I still want to know. I I know. Bill, I'll see you right back. Ooh, ah. um, what were you? Ah, this what the heck is happening? What are you doing with food? <laughs> I pressed on something on accident. My bad. <laughs> okay. I hey. was so confused. Hey. Yeah? Hey. Yeah? Hold the meter, PG. Here, there you go. I wish I could, like, wrap my hands over you. But, hey. It's okay. Hey. 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 It's okay. Hey. <laughs> it's gonna hey. be okay. Hey. Hey. You could technically set up a layout where you could wrap your hands around me. It'd be difficult, but what I, you could do is you could have, like, the tracking where, like, it can depict whether or not, like, it, you know, on Discord, it can capture your face, and through your face, it can determine your the rest of your body and blur out your background. Yeah, but that's different. No, 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 but hear me out. It can do that, and then you add that source on top, and then you add a clipping, or not clipping, but you cut out a part that's specifically Ooh, my character. So you can just I face see. forward. But you the thing see is it would also take my mic. But I have that's I have fine. I have the You would just be able to, to move your arms in general, like in front. And yeah, be like, no, I understand. Like go, I layer it in front of you and mask it to your character. Uh, I understand. Yeah. And mask it, it to your work. character. It's yeah. finicky. It wouldn't necessarily be the best, but it would It'd be funny, but it's also it, it would take my mic. It would my mic uh, would be yeah. in the foreground. Anyway. Or it'd be gone. I don't, I don't mind if it's gone. 
But I'm it will be when I, like most likely will be in the foreground. Anyway, let me do something real quick. Hey, yeah, yeah, <sighs> it's our break time. It's our break time. We're letting everything. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I. Oh my god. I this the the one thing for me is I want to see who the goddamn prosecutor is gonna be. Is it gonna be Godo? Is it gonna be Francisca? Is it gonna be Payne? I'm gonna be really sad because if it's not Godo, it could have been Francisca and and and, and it's Payne. I'm not gonna be, be defensive, but I really hope it's Francisca for me for me sake especially because she really likes Francisca like a lot a lot a lot. <laughs> I can, I think it's her favorite character in the series so far. I want to say that with confidence, yeah. Ugh. But hope we should be able to get through the first part of this trial. If we're lucky, we can also get through the second part. Okay, give me a little bit more. Like, give me like five minutes. I'm gonna quickly charge my phone. <laughs> do you need a, Do you need to be present to charge your phone? Whatever. I'm excited to hear the the do 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 <laughs> Sorry, I gotta stop myself, but I love that theme. Oh, I love this game's music a lot. Sorry, but I'm curious if that theme that we've been hearing throughout this investigation period is like specific to to, to Edgeworth. I don't know, but it'd be cool if he had his own investigation thing. And he has his own investigations game. Which I know Mika's really looking forward to playing after we finish this game. I'm excited to, to play it with her too, because I'm I'm probably gonna play it with her, or at least watch her play it. Um so that'll be fun. Um Oh my god. Oh my lord, he lord. I would have kept that in myself, but she already spoiled it last stream. Yeah, no. Speaking of things, it just occurred to me Springfest is starting soon. I'm still only on the circus case on oh, on the second game. Don't worry, you'll make it you'll make your way over here. Mo keeps making jokes, dude. Mo is my goat. Mo is my goat. What do you mean poor me? What about poor me? Just give up. Give up what? <laughs> you can pick your team now, can you? Cause I could have sworn I got on. Sp no, I didn't actually. Never mind. Springfest is next week. Maya. Uh, I'm most likely to be locking in chicks, but it depends on what Mika wants. Cause I'm I'm not picking this time. I don't really. Again, I this theme is cool, but it's kind of like vague. It's very unspecific for my taste. Like I can't really form a strong opinion about it. It's cause it's like, oh my god, these are the what? What do you like? <laughs> it's not really like a thought provoking question. You know, at least the weekend swap has, you know, like there was, there's some logic to it. I'm picking some win for Zay. Huh? Pairing up. Makes sense. I gotta find other, I gotta find other chick people. I can actually, let me check my app. Oi. Welcome, Barack. Thank you, Bucky. All right, you ready to start? Uh, I think so, yes. Sorry, we're talking about swap as team. We can pick our team starting today. Oh, I know. I didn't know because I didn't know if it was Splatoon and I forgot. <laughs> I saw the today. Mm. My God, I only have two people on my friends list that are going. Little chick. My God. Yeah, Bunny is really popular. I know Bunny is going to be really popular. I already, I knew, I knew Drippy and and I know Undead's going to pick Bear Cubs. Are we squipping too? <laughs> Leah's on Bear Cubs. <laughs> All right, you ready to start? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's go. <sighs> February 9th, 9.47 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Oh my, Mr. Lurice feels that way about me? Apparently, he isn't aware of your real secret at all. 
This is no time to be embarrassed. <laughs> you okay? I'm sorry. Yes, there is so much happening in the background. I'm just hardly accustomed to that sort of thing. Were we not? And in any case, whatever it was that he saw on the night of the incident, mark my words, I will drag it out of him. Does that mean Mr. Larice is the witness today? No. I leave that done. Oh, I don't have the thingy. <laughs> we'll be the first to take the stand. Sister Bikini. I have to read her out. Hey guys, it's me, Sister Bikini. <laughs> She claims to have seen the very instant in which you carried out the crime. Hmm. I just want to ask you one last time. It really wasn't you who killed Miss Elise Donum, correct? That is correct. It wasn't me. Very well then. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes? You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Are you sure about this? I... Your true identity is revealed. Don't worry. I made the necessary arrangements. I... I see. Iris. It is a prosecutor's job to doubt people. But right now, I am a defense attorney. A defense attorney's job is to believe in people, and to believe until the bitter end. That's what my friend told me once. Oh my god! Oh my so god! Wait. Until the bitter end? That's... That's not Phoenix, that's... Someone else. Mr. Edgeworth? I simply ask that you watch and decide for yourself whether or not I am fit to do the task I have been entrusted. My defense in your capable hands. <sighs> this is where shit gets real. <laughs> February 9th. I'm nervous. Like my hands are sweating. Court. If I see my wife, I'm I court <laughs> like, gonna take seven. a moment. I am so nervous. <laughs> a, I don't know what I'm about to see. <laughs> oh no. No, no def no no prosecuting. Court is now <laughs> in session for the trial of Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple. Yeah. What we're gonna see is we're gonna see Edgeworth be like, OBJECTION! And then he runs across the courtroom. <laughs> I- <laughs> OBJECTION! Uh-uh-uh. HOLD IT! <laughs> <laughs> what is this tomfoolery? <laughs> He's like whipping himself. <laughs> oh my god, this is so jarring. <laughs> this is so cool. Wait, is he flipped? I don't- I don't know. It's probably oh, he has a little badge on him! Yeah, he has a- yeah, remember? They've been talking know, about how it's on it's his like, label. I know, but it looks so funny on him. It does. They're right. Does it match him at all? The defense is ready, Your Honor. The defense does indeed appear to be ready. However, the same cannot be said for the prosecution in this case. Indeed. I'm not sure- I'm not sure I like such a blatant waste of this court's time. An empty prosecutor's chair can only mean that the prosecutor has no confidence in their ability to prove their case. It would seem that this case is already over before it had the chance to begin. I am ready to announce my verdict at this time. Are you serious? This court finds the defendant. Objection! <laughs> I won! The prosecution stands ready. And the PG, do I have a surprise? For no you? way you drew this. No way. She has the Miles Edge Yeah, theme she has her she has her background. own revival thing. I this is one of the spoilers I was talking about. I completely forgot about it until just now, to be fair. Um I remember scrolling through the OST I like a few weeks back. <laughs> I want to I was wanting to voice her for so long. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? <laughs> I need you to I need you to set up my surprise baby girl because What? You need a what? I need help. Why? Uh the website's being mean to me. 
I knew that was being mean to you. It's being mean to me. Well, you want to upload anything? My... I yes. Okay. Because anything I try to upload, the website's like, nah, -uh. right, nah, -uh. I'll, I'll, I'll loads do that, do that. indefinitely. Oh, uh, give me a second. I'm setting up Mika's new PNG. Oh my God! You gave her a little. Oh my God! This what? is amazing. You gave her a little like eyebrow. I changed the eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. I saw. Hold on. Let me put this in my Mika folder. <laughs> Let's talk about my wife. I've been wanting to voice her for so long. There's so much about her that I love. She's just so... Her? She's like in her essence. Like, she's so fucking perfect in every single way. I love her so much. Sorry, Chad. Um, Dude. <laughs> this shit is so cool. Oh my god. Also, Leah, you are spitting right now. She's such a good... You're so bright, Leah. She's so... Oh, oh my god. She's such an amazing character. Genuinely. I... Oh my god. Like, I don't know if I can live without her. Knowing... Like, I've said this already. I'm gonna cosplay her. I might cosplay Iris for the sake of funsies. But like... Oh my god. Who doesn't love her? There you go. I set yours up. Oh my god. This looks you kill Oh my god, you look you put a little bit of lighting on her earring? Like you made like a like we ate a shine. That's so cute. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> I can't. The prosecutionist I... stands ready, Your Honor. And you are Francisca von Karma. Prosecuting prodigy. But von Karma, you say? Perchance, you wouldn't be of any relation to the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. Legends are a thing of the past. I am Von Karma. That is all. Upon a special request, I flew in today for the purposes of prosecuting this case. Y you did? Then you must be g quite a big shot, eh? By the way, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. I am almost certain that I've seen you somewhere before. Or am I just imagining things? You look very much like a prosecutor I met once. I believe you are m imagining things, Your Honor. Miss Von Karma, do you have anything to say? There is no such weakling as a man among those of the prosecution's office. There, there isn't. But I'm sure. What's before in this courtroom? Ah! I told you, there is no such weakling. But what? What is that? A whip? I'm not sure I care for such a thing in my courtroom. But Bailiff, remove that whip at- I have no objection to the whip. Bro, I didn't know you were into that. They're siblings. They're siblings. I never said. I never said anything about specifically her. I just meant whipping. But she's the one with the whip. I I know. I never, I'm gonna spray I, you I, with deodorant. I, Fuck you. Why do? You... Stop. <laughs> 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 My microphone smells strong. <laughs> Why did you? Did you actually spray it? <coughs> oh my god, she actually sprayed it. <laughs> oh my god. You don't. <laughs> the, prosecu the prosecution can wield a whip or drink 17 cups of coffee. But there is still only one truth. That is what I stand here to prove today. I get to see the fucking relationship between them because she probably agreed to help him. That yeah. means he pro she's probably agreeing to help Phoenix, cause she- Oh my god! Oh my god, I love her, I love her, I love her. I know you're oh, fangirling, but <laughs> make sure to read. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. This promises to be interesting, Miles Edgeworth. I had expected to face Phoenix right here today. But looking at you now, maybe this is what I have been waiting for all this time. What if she heard that Gota was a no-show and she wanted to show up instead to beat his ass? No, because Edruf did say that it was... Yeah, I know, I know. He but... called her. But what uh... I think is really interesting is how she's like, I'd ra much rather face you because she feels like she's shadowed by him. Yeah, so that's really. true. My fucking wife, let's go. Let's you... beat up Derpy G together. 
Did you read this? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, I will not allow you to chance to, this chance to crush you. Zip. Holy shit. Hold on. She speaks in a Miles weird... Miles Edgeworth, I will not allow this chance to crush you. Slip it through my fingers. <laughs> the smug off. Gestures with him. <laughs> I see you bought your flow for the his histronic. What? Hold on. What does this word mean? I, I don't know. I have to do my little hand movements what? with her. The so first thing that it. pops up is hysteronic personality disorder. What? That's probably that what he's talking about. Overly theatrical or melodramatic in character or style. Well, I mean, he's got a point. <laughs> Allow me to add to the things I'm not sure about. People acting bizarrely in my court. I guess he's used to normies. Yeah. Wah! The stage is set. Now continue with the proceedings, your honor. I keep putting my hand out the way she does to Go help for me it. Like, get into character. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Miss Von Karma, please give an outline of this case. With as little whipping as possible. The murder victim is famed picture book author Miss Elise Dunham. Her body was found in the Hazakura Temple country courtyard. She had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremonial sword with a, from a golden statue. God, that looks so hideous. Oh my goodness. Mm. So tasteless. The sword of this picture is the weapon in is the weapon in question, correct? Very well. The court accepts this photo of the crime scene. Crime photo. The courtyard where Elise Do Donum was murdered. Added to the court record. There is no mistake. This was doing of the sister Iris. After all, there is a witness to her crime. Very well. Please bring this witness to the stand. And so it begins. My first and last trial as a defense attorney. <laughs> but, oh, what is this? Witness, state your name and occupation, please. I would like to say this is the only time I'm ever gonna voice a prosecutor that's a woman because that is the only woman prosecutor I've seen so far. There's more. There's probably more. Yeah. I think there's, I there's at least say, one more. This is the first time in this trilogy I'm voicing a prosecutor. <laughs> oh yeah, in this trilogy for sure there's only one. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm happy, so happy there is. Voice her. She needs a box ASAP. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, get get the Cody Hackens box back in. <laughs> All right. Hold on here. I'm not so sure about being not sh What the hell? I'm not sure about being not sure if I care for this at all. Witness, please stand up and nice and straight. Oh, it's because of her back. Well, that end, she's short. If I recall correctly, there are a few milk crates in the defendant's lobby for our back. Pain to play witness. Bailiff, we're a fetch a crate for this poor lady, please. Aww. Here you are. Hi. I love the short jokes in this game. I'm surprised they were able to make that work. Like with the animation of like her peeking over the little witness day. That's so cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, if they can make a rotating phone icon jump towards Edgeworth in the middle of a well, series. Well, that's different. Trial, that's different. They can make anything work. That's no, I, I'm. That was like funny, and they made it work. They made it work tonally. I'm talking about that looked worked visually. You know what I mean? Of course. And it's just a creative use of the animation they already had. Anyway, done yapping. Didn't. Once again, your name and occupation, please. Little old me, well, I'm the head nun of Hazakura Temple on Eagle Mountain. My name is Bikini. You got got it, Bikini. Nice to meet everyone. Shakes, wait, hold on. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if we get Francisca to meet Pearl again? What if Francisca is gonna actually be a part of the group and walk with Edgeworth for the rest of the trial? Mm. That'd be nice. I don't it's think they just move her away for Goto afterwards. As if she was never there. Come I think, on, I think Goto's gonna come back at some point during this case. Yeah, I know, but I don't think they just force her out, right? I feel like she's gonna be there for at least some of it. Please. Well, uh, she's gonna be here for this one. Do you mean like during the investigation period? Yes. Ah, I think Maybe she'll she's be going here. to be talking. Oh my god, what if her and 
manager go visit Phoenix Wright, and the first thing she does is make fun of Phoenix. Like, you fool! Who does that? <laughs> Who willingly <laughs> goes through a fight, a bridge caught on fire? Is it? it was for my. <laughs> you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Ugh. The courtroom is in the garden of a holy judgment. Those with lechery in their he hearts lechery. should le lechery. I'm pretty sure it's lechery. I'm dyslexic. Those no, with lechery in their hearts should leave the sanctuary at once. Yeah, it's lechery. <laughs> you want me to leave? No need to get your bikinis in a twist. Let me tell you, I'm a sight of a hole in summer. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so jiggly. In any case, witness, I hear that you saw the crime take place on the night in question. That's right. I could so hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris could do anything like that. Let us hear what you have to say then. First, tell us about your own movements that night, eh? Ew. Witness testimony, the night of the murder. That I was helping an acolyte with a temple, with her training in the inner temple, but, well, as you can see, my back likes to act up, violently. So, I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to Hazakura Temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long, hot soak. It was after I had finished, as I was heading back. That's when I saw it! Hmm. So it was simply coincidence that you find yourself returning to Hazakura Temple. Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been in so much pain, I would have stayed at the inner temple. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. There is only one problem with the state. This testimony that I can see. And you're not about to fall at first huddle now, are you, Miss Miles Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth, please begin your cause examination. Cause examination, the night of the murder. Is the last audio you haven't heard, by the way. Hmm? Behold it. Oh. Well, you talked over it, so I didn't even realize. My bad. <laughs> Don't worry, gonna, I'm gonna have to do it like five more times. What is I this know. inner temple? Well, you see, conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? We'll be the ones asking you the questions, madam. In order to do that, a place strong in spiritual power is required. There's a small temple across the ski bridge called the Inner Temple. Acolytes will spend an entire night there to undergo intense training. Now exactly do you help with this process? It is all quite exacting. It can't be performed without a nun supervising. Like a tutor watching to make sure a spoiled child studies. A tutor with a whip in your case. That is the case. And why did you return to Hazakura Temple when the murder took place? That was... Man. A tutor with a whip in your case. Damn. <laughs> That's so fucked to think about. Edger, shut the fuck up. Shut up, Edger. Pfft. Hold it! Ah. Violently. That's right. It's a laughing matter, especially in winter. I can't hold anything heavier than a knife and fork during the cold months. Just being alike is like just being alive is like strip training. <laughs> On the night of the murder, was this fabulous back of yours hurting again? That's right, raging like a bull in a pig pen. I almost fainted once or twice. I just knew that unless I warmed it up, it was going to finally finish me off. Hold it. You left Iris to help. With what? What do you think? Acolyte training, of course. It was just past 10 p.m., so you were to enter into the training exercise proper. Wasn't it your place to remain with the disciple? But the job is simply watch over the acolytes so they don't pass away. Just to confirm this point again, last night, you met Iris in the inner temple, correct? Yes, yes, she's a gentle, honest girl. Just to confirm. Uh, not this one. This. Yes, yes, she's a gentle, honest like girl. Night. She's never once failed to follow my directions. Hold it. Ty, I love the same. <laughs> <laughs> <Shaky. 
<laughs> yeah, I, this is like your dream come true. <laughs> And oh, my, my wife's are here. Yeah, and, and it's my worst nightmare. I was just nightmare. talking about Francisca at the start of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's my worst nightmare because I had the city church. Anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> Listen, you can't take away my goat. That makes me very upset. How unfortunate. Shut up. So you return to the hot school temple in order to take a bath. My back is to blame for everything. It's a tour to be done in kind of world after all. How long were you in the bath for, if you don't mind me asking? That's kind of... That's kind of... Bye, bye, bye. What a filthy little rogue you are. I know what's on your mind. Uh-uh. <laughs> I bet your next question is going to be, what exactly did you wash? <laughs> oh. Oh. Francisca, the whip is required now. Girly, don't... We're waiting <laughs> for you, girly. Please enlighten us. This is why you have to watch the young ones. Well, what are you going on about? I was... Whoa. Pathetic, Miles Edgeworth. The lowest of the low. <laughs> <laughs> is there some sort of kick me side stuck to the defendant's bench? <laughs> this frame is so golden, my lord. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I love Ezra finding out how it feels to get beat up by everyone in the fan. <laughs> like, you know, like the Jojo beat up meme where I was like kicking the guy on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm thinking of. Sorry. Oh, how the turns have tabled Miles Edgeworth. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I couldn't afford to be away from my post for too long, you understand, so. The crime took place in the courtyard, correct? But you go from my room to the main hall. You'll have to take a winding hallway from which you can see the courtyard. That's right. In other words, it was pure coincidence that the witness saw the crime taking place before her eyes. There was no complicated setup in this case. Listen, I know Karain Village probably scarred you, Pookie Bear. Cool out. <laughs> God damn. Shut the fuck up, Miles Edrick. <laughs> Hmm, that certainly seems to be true. There's indeed only one problem with this testimony. If I can clearly point out what it is, then I can begin to quantify just how good this witness's memory and observation skills are. Alright. Uh, uh. You know what's funny? Edrick's probably like, what would I do if I was Phoenix, right? This whole fucking time. If I was Mr. Wright, what would I do? I'd say something uh, yes. like... Objection! Objection. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, I have, to under I have to undergo their own trials. On Witnesses have to undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. The defendant's fate rests on their powers of observation and memory, after all. Well, 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 don't worry. I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all. The head honcho of Hasekira Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for me. The discrepancy between your testimony and that of the defendant, Iris. She claims that after ringing the lights out bell, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to the Inter Temple at all. Objection! No, I... A defendant? Or a witness? Who is more likely to lie, do you suppose? The defendant is simply lying to cover her back. But that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Hazakura Temple. I just realized we're playing as Edgeworth, and Edgeworth actually has a brain. Sorry, Phoenix. Um, so whenever, like, uh, the prosecutor's like, uh-uh-uh, here's this very good point. He's not like, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean by Phoenix feels like incompetent in terms of being a lawyer. Listen. That even Edrif could do a better job, according to everyone. Sorry, Phoenix. Listen, Call it quits, man. I give the boy some credit. He ain't bad. <laughs> no, he, he's not bad. But, like, I feel like he just thinks too much of himself sometimes. I'm like, even good Maya if I could be so a good myself. lawyer. <laughs> like, if he's a lawyer, Maya could be a lawyer. And that says a lot. I think what's gonna happen, if I had to guess, is that everyone's gonna get like really stumped. Phoenix is gonna take over and then just like clean up. 
You know what I mean? To really I prove guess, so. Yeah. But, you know. Anyway. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> the murder was committed in the courtyard of Hazukura Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a much better alibi. Hmm. That is odd. Whenever, whenever the reason, I can't believe that she would lie. Hmm. She does indeed have honest eyes. Please. All people lie. That is my belief. Finally, someone who doesn't believe that she's like the, the goody two-shoes princess of the world. Have you seen Francisca? She believes in no one. <laughs> Why am I the only one being whipped in here? Because that is anyway, my brother. Neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie. Which means you must call your memory into question. Dear, dear, dear. You're older than me, and yet you want to play that game, do you? Oh, she has a little serious sprite. Yeah, she showed it earlier. Uh, oh, well, if... that isn't exactly what I... Yeah? I, I, something funny. If me and my mom really do get far enough into Ace Attorney together, I could get her to cosplay as Bikini. <laughs> and then yeah, I'll and go as Iris. Iris. That'd be yeah. awesome. You guys would look so <laughs> good. You're gonna make two more Magatamas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or, or I can just put the one or, I have or... in a mold and then make a yeah. mold out of it and then yeah. resin it. Because then it's lighter. It doesn't kill me. Or you can just 3D pit Manga Thomas. No, and sand it down. 3D pint it. As you said yourself. I said pint? I said print. Said pint. I meant to say print anyway. Alright. My memory is perfect. Crystal clear. Especially in the winter. Then, I suppose it's too early to end this cross-examination, eh? Mr. Edgeworth, if you are going to question the memory of this witness, you will need to show me a more decisive piece of evidence. Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that alone would do the trick. Then please add your comments about Ira about Iris to this testimony. And let's return to the cross-examination. About, about Iris to this testimony. Are you sure that you're not making a mistake? You young man need to get your estimation of me up from the floor. No. Iris always wears the same clothes. The smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me. You're making a mistake. Thinking I made a mistake. An excellent finish there, witness. Still, I have to wonder. Oh, she doesn't have the hood anymore. Yeah. Objection! Witness, let's get one thing straight. The defendant whom you claim to have met, she was wearing this demon warding hood, correct? Of course. Sorry, God, I really, I cannot get a good voice for her. <laughs> it's very fluctuant. <laughs> of course. That is a very important piece of clothing, I'll have you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold it right there. Why do you have that? That's the question of the day now, isn't it? Miss Von Karma. I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night. Before the lights out bell was rung. What? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant as she claims, then the iris she saw should have been missing this very hood. I love these. I love those theme. Little, the objection theme is so good. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> The crates she's standing on, she's standing on like I six. know. <laughs> That's so many. Yo, Cody wasn't even that short. My lord. It's not a bad feeling. It's not a bad feeling at all. Exposing contradictions like this. <laughs> hey, you wanna you wanna change? Yeah, professional change? Join the dark side. Join the or... join the defending side, gang. Now I understand that happy look on Brett's face every time he does it. <laughs> <laughs> he pays attention to the little details. <laughs> 
my god. Order, order in the co- Sister. This hug. You have a spare one around the temple, don't you? They're grasping. Spares, well, I don't tend to make too many of them. I see, a stockpile, a surplus of hoods, eh? Nishan has only given one hood. This should have been the only hood that Iris owned. Hmm, then this is quite strange. Whoa! If there was a surplus of hoods, then she would have worn one of those. There's no contradiction here. Hmm. Sorry to break this to you, Miss Von Karma, but you won't get away that easily. Discrepancies such as this will sow seeds in any human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness. Well, I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt. You must give every detail with precision. I'm not sure I've got to with go going along with this. Sister, you shall continue your with your testimony. Whew. Tell us what you saw after finishing your bath on the way back to the inner temple. Those seeds of doubt are sprouting in the judge's heart. They just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Fruit? Contradictory stimulation. When is that money? After my bath. I finished my bath around 11, and I thought I should return to the inner temple. As I was walking back, I had a nose in the courtyard. I took a look and... I was... was oh, Mystic Elise! I mean, that sort of all things. Mystic Elise was staying in the corner room, which faces out onto the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after... She was pushed out of the out of her window. Or she got stabbed in the window and then pushed and then re-speared, mm -hmm. re-skewered, if you will. <laughs> you saw a truly terrible sight, didn't you? If I was in your place, then it would be much like Miss Von Karma whipping Miss Edgeworth in two in court, and me seeing it all from this very chair. Uh, well, something like that. This judge. His imagination is about as vivid and creative as Detective Gumshoe. I would... I would look the fool if I commented on such foolishness. Anyway, this case is mine, Miles Edgeworth. Calling everyone by their full name. Can't you do something about that habit of yours? That's so cute. They're pretty siblings in court. Cross-examination. So fucking hilarious. After my bath. That is really funny. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. How far is it from your room to the inner temple? Let me think a moment. About 20 minutes on these stumps of mine. It's about 15 minutes to Dusky Bridge from Hasakura Temple. The inner temple is just beyond the bridge. Still, you never made it back there that night, did you? But that's right. I was heading along the walkway towards the main hall. <laughs> She's so cutie. You say you heard a noise. Thump, just like that. That could only be the son of the victim falling. It's very quiet in the temple, you know. You can even hear the snow falling from the branches. See, what I'm thinking right now is that if you heard a thump, I feel like you would have also heard a scream. Right? Unless she wasn't there when the murder actual ha actually happened. No, but think about it this way. No. Here's the thing. If she heard a thump, she would have heard the scream along with, you know, the stabbing. If the stabbing happened when she came that time. That's so, what I was going to say! That's what I was trying to say, then. So what I, I think it first. is... Fine, fine, you can say it. But what I was saying... Is what you were gonna say. Property to all all ownership of this lot comes from Derpy G. He just sent it to me through like airdrop. And air angel. And you I, you need to stop talking so I can speak. <laughs> oh, you wanted to speak. <laughs> I was going to say that if she was falling, she would have heard a scream because the distance between her room and the ground was fairly significant, meaning she had time to reactively scream, assuming she was alive when she fell. But what is more likely is that she didn't scream because she was already dead. And if she did scream, it does match up with Wikini's testimony of she wasn't there at the time. 
Her bikini wasn't there, so she couldn't have heard the scream. Therefore, there is no exact time as to when she died. Well, I mean, there's a time range, but I guess we're saying. There's a time range, but there's no exact... There's not. There's no knowing if when Iris was uh, quote-unquote stabbed was exactly when she was murdered. Yes, exactly. Therefore... Yumi! <laughs> you can even hear the snow falling from the branches. Thump, just like that. What then? Couldn't this noise you have heard been the snow falling to the ground? I never thought of that. Girl. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ah! They, should, they should kiss. The next one to laugh gets a whipping. Oh, whatever this was with the sound, I looked over at the courtyard end. This is the second time that the witness has testified to seeing the defendant. But, some doubt remains in these claims. Hey, just what does that mean? Just because you're a good-looking young man doesn't give you the right to. The murderer <laughs> who stabbed the victim with the sword. Sister Bikini, try to recall exactly who it is you, who it was you saw, as clearly as you can. Hmm. Well, you're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. Oh, now that you mention it, there was something awfully strange about her. Something that had been bugging me all this time. Please, don't keep us in suspense. The hood. Her hood. That's right. It's coming back to me. Iris, she wasn't wearing her hood. I thought something was out of place, but... It all makes sense now, doesn't it? After all, she'd given that hood away to someone, right? Ugh. You've dug your own grave, Miles Edgeworth. What do you say, Mr. Edgeworth? Is this testimony important? This may initially oh. appear to be, put me at a disadvantage, but I can't see any, any of the leads at the moment. Your Honor, I would like these new statements to be added to the testimony. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth. If you want to hang yourself, you only need to ask. I'll gladly lend you my whip. Okay, that's a hard-ass line. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I, you know what I expected? I expected Bikini to be like, Oh, you're a handsome young man, and hear OBJECTION! <laughs> that would be downright criminal. Oh my god. <laughs> Witness, add that statement to your testimony. No problem. But that just, that does mean that the person she saw wasn't Iris. Because she testified the person she saw all the way at the inner temple was wearing a hood, so that's not Iris. This is true. The question is what I present for that. Let me see. You are sure about that? Yes, after all, we always wear the same clothes. Ah, I don't mean because we're poor, you understand? It's our style. Yes, that's it. There's absolutely no need to explain yourself. Anyway, she looked different from normal, so that really stuck out. Like me holding a whip puppy instead of my whip. Whip it puppy. What? Yeah, you got it right. The second time. <laughs> At least then it might bite you and not someone else. <laughs> I should never hold on. I'm sure of it. Very well. Now, please tell us about a boot the victim, eh? How did, uh, how did you say a boot? Because it's French. It's Canadian. Canadian people say like sorry and a boot instead of a boot uh, like OUs and all that stuff is ooh for us instead of O. Oh. Uh, like, instead of favor it's favor yeah sorry sorry the room the victim was staying in overlooked the courtyard correct which means the victim's room was on the second floor no no Hasuka temple is a single story building the mountain itself slopes downwards which elevates the main gate out of the temple, in the guest rooms in the back. To about the height of a two-story building. I see. And the victim was staying in one of these elevated rooms, correct? Yes, I should know. I'm the one who carried her things to her room, after all. Oh, her, your poor back pain. I love her sprites. She's so cute. Yeah. What makes you so sure of all this? It's just like I told you earlier. 
I heard a noise from the courtyard, okay? Thump, just like that. You're one <coughs> smart sister. I'll give you that. The autopsy report states that the victim's body was covered in bruises, indicating a fall from around 10 feet in height. Hmm, it appears that the witness was not mistaken then. Yep, yep, I'm more than just a pretty face, especially in winter. I'm a woman of faith, after all, the head honcho of Hasakura Temple. There's only two of them working there. What's wrong, Miles Edgeworth? No snappy comeback remark? It doesn't feel like she's lying. It's a very powerful testimony, too. She claims to have seen the incident in which the defendant stabbed the victim. The only two things I can believe in right now. My client, Iris, and my own abilities as a defense attorney. Okay. So the two things I'm thinking about are... I'm trying to think. Mm -mm. I just want to say one thing. That the giant orb that's on the staff looks awfully like the giant orb that's on their like headpiece. I mean, oh, like on her chat, like on like the little neck pendant. Mhm. Mm yeah, I agree. All right, I'm presenting the autopsy report. It was Iris. Sorry, guys. Objection! I'm locked in today. I know. I don't want to feel. I don't feel like thinking. I just. No, that's like, okay. Watching. You carry. You carried episode four. Like that was all you. <laughs> That was all you, my god. I get a little brain break. Yep. Impressive logic. That's what I'd like to say anyway. You're my you're my opponent today, so, you know. Yeah, I get to not think. Oh, please, I do. Please do. My brain is something else, especially in winter. However, I think you are overlooking one thing. Miss Von Karma, would you be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? The, the autopsy report? The victim did fall from a height of 10 feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. Ah. But that's right. It says after death right here. Wow, you can read, dipshit. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I hate this guy so much. You're so ugly. At least he has more of a brain than the other judge. Uh-uh, no. My other, my other judge, my pookie, He's the is very aloof, okay? And I love him for that. Yeah, he's almost gotten us in so much trouble, though. Yeah, but he's, like, so fun. He's fun. This guy's an asshole. This judge is slightly sexist as well. <laughs> this is true. The scene the witness claims to, to have seen is contradictory. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard, how did the victim then go to take, go on to take a 10-foot fall? I mean, that's not ah. Yeah, that's fairly true. <laughs> oh, order, order. The victim was killed and then fell. If that is the case, then the victim must have been killed in a room. Don't you agree? Th that is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And who can testify to that? Pearl. <laughs> well, I, I mean, didn't say what if we see Pearl on the witness stand today. So, yeah. Maybe I called it, but not today, because we know that the other... Wait, there's only... Wait, who can justify to that? No one. Oh, uh, I was gonna be like, All right, everybody, stand back. This is a medium session. <laughs> I would like to call... <laughs> and she was then thrown out of her window down into the country... Country, I don't know. That's because you see... You courtyard. Read, <laughs> you read the I word read the before RFN. you say it. <laughs> it's really courtyard funny. below. It's really, it's really funny because I know you're like reading the word as you're saying it rather than looking at the word then reading it. So you keep saying. I just can't catch it. No, it's like. It's also because country. It looks yeah, like country. It looks like country me. until you see the ARD. It's just Dyslexia. like the R and T are swapped. I see it. Don't worry. Oh, there's also no N, but. I mean, this like. Is there a country? Is there an N in country? Yeah, there is, right? I'm not stupid, right, guys? Also, yes, I, I'm sorry, King Ice. I know you were here for a while. Yeah, it's count R Y. I'm, I'm stupid. I don't know why I needed to ask that question. Hi, King Ice. Sorry, I saw you like a while ago, and my brain like read the message, but didn't like say hi. 
Hello. We Mika plans to play the Miles Edgeworth Investigations game, and I don't know how good the fan the fan uh, translation is for the second game, but I imagine Mika wants to play that too. So, mm -hmm. you know. I will. Will we will be playing it? I know we're probably gonna play the first one on stream. Depends. I mean, it's up there. But we'll play it. That's the important part. All right. Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Donum's room? She was stabbed with a sword that would leave a blood stain, wouldn't you agree? Well, Miss Von Karma, were there, was there any blood? Ah! No traces of blood were found in the victim's room. Your whip has just caused traces of blood to be found on my glorious playoff beard. I'm gonna shave that shit. However, if there are, if there were no blood, if there was no blood in the court, the, oh. I'm sure there's no needs for me to go over this, as I'm sure your honor is very aware of when a stab wound produces the most blood. When it produces the most blood. Very little blood is actually lost in the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body. That would be when the blade is removed. Indeed, with the weapon still in place, it acts like a, like a lid on the wound. That's true. When the weapon is still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. A perfectly reasonable line of thinking. We have come to a conclusion, then. The victim was thrown out of a window with the sword still in place. I don't know about that one. This removes all of the contradictions. Francisca's like far away sprite always looked like a guy to me. And I, like, I remember seeing it and being like, whoa. Because the first time I saw Francisca, I was like, who is that handsome man? And when it was a woman, I was like, hello? A woman? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> order, order, order. I must admit this is a probable version of events. I expect no less from Francisca von Karma. She locates and takes control of every vital point. It seems that we need a clearer testimony for the witness. Remove all supposition on your part and tell us only the facts, please. Witness, please remain standing on the crate. Don't go standing me short now. The weight of winter snow has bent me out of shape, especially my back and my mood. Sister, please give us your testimony. I will give you a vigorous message once we're all finished here. Read a massage. Again. Thank you. With the whip. Oh boy. All right, all right. I love Francisco. Witness testimony, further details. When I looked across the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stamp was. Mystic Elise. Never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? And when I woke, Mr. Gammy is. was stabbing Mr. Elise through the back. Hmm. This all confirms Miss Falcova's theory. Uh. You got this. How do we? Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Miles Edgeworth. I expect you to be like, but you wouldn't know that, would you? <laughs> perfection is an impossibility, Francisca Von Karma. And I'm here to teach you just that. I yeah. love... Examination. Further details. You love what? Francis, I uh, like seeing them in Turok. Right. At the time, was the victim bleeding? Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all this, of course. So I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not then. I'm sure that you didn't. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. In any case, let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? 
Think carefully, this is very important. The tyrants we're talking about here are thinking for all I'm worth. No, when I looked over, the sword was already in Miss Mystic Elise's body. Hmm. It might not be conclusive, but. Cecily supports her theory. The victim was stabbed in her room and then dropped into the, cor the courtyard. Huh. Wait. But if the wound is. Did it go through her Come heart? On. Or through her stomach? Hold on. Right? Is it stabbing her back? I mean, yes. if it. I guess if it. If it slices your spinal cord, I guess. Would that. I don't know. Does Is that a, a I don't fatal. Know. Having a sword through you would be pretty fatal if yes, you ask me. But the thing is, like, you wouldn't die instantly. You know what I mean? I suppose. Like, you have to consider that if she, like, basically she has to wait for her to die, but she can't bleed out if the sword's still in her. You know what I mean? I don't think that wound is fatal. I don't think you die from that specific, like, insertion. I don't know. Anyway. Poke, poke! Yeah! Oh! Whoa, what the fuck? What happened? I already said the line, but I guess Discord froze? Because, like, like, oh, okay. Try again. Okay. I think this proves it rather well, Miles Edgeworth. Okay. She's so cunty. So you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? But that's right. So that it's spotted onto Iris too. When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room. And her blood fleck. Fleckled. Fleckled. Fleck. Or flat. No, it's flecked. It's flecked. It's flecked. My bad. My brain wanted to read something else. It's flecked. Folded in the corner. What? Clothes with blood flecked as well. Hmm. That seems quite conclusive to me. What should I do? Press this point further. Press it, press it. <laughs> Going back to your previous statement. You said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now, you say you saw the victim bleeding. Well, well, I say that... I say that what I saw is what I saw. But what did you see? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed. But I saw the girl pull the sword out of her. Plain as day. Pulling the sword out? Well, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was one that came out. Witness, you will add the statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? More important than you can imagine. She could have been trying to save her. True. Again, I don't believe Iris, dead. by the way. I, I think Iris is still the bad guy. It's just like... Things transpired know. differently. <laughs> yeah. Smoothly, you say. You're saying you saw the sword smoothly slide out. That's right. The whole thing happened right next to the gold statue of Mystic Ami. Mystic Elise was on the ground and I was, was stooped over her. Because like this... <sighs> She's already dead. What is his face? Sorry. The face of a woman... Bottom. Hmm? The sword was buried up to the hilt. When I was stood up, uh -huh. the sword in her hand just slid out of Mystic Elise's body. It set off from that gaping wound. Ah! It goes without saying that if the sword was removed there, it would be bleeding. Nothing out of place here. Is that really the case? I can't help but feel that something about the testimony is very out of place. It's something which couldn't possibly hap have happened to appears to have happened. Thank you, Edra, for helping us. Because my brain is like melted right now. Was the bleeding caused melted. by the killer removing the sword? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. No mistaking it. I remember it all as clear as, clear as day. Don't you think that's a bit odd? What do you mean, Miles Edgeworth? Why would the killer pull out the sword? What? 
All she wanted to do was place the weapon in the hand of the gold statue. And there was no reason to remove it from the body. All that would have accomplished is causing the victim to bleed unnecessarily. Your thoughts, Miss Von Karma? Th that's... Indeed, it is strange, now that you mention it. I'm going to need to find an answer to this mystery, too. Anyway, the witness saw something terrible. So what did you do after that, witness? Hmm. Hold it. Now, on to what the killer did next. You saw none of it, correct? Well, I was unconscious. How long were you out for? I don't know. Ten, maybe twenty minutes? A young man with a very prickly looking head woke me up. By stepping on me, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure I'd like that message of resuscitation. Well, I wasn't asking for mouth the mouth or anything of the sort. But I would have fucking been more gentle awakening right about then, let me tell you. I shall have words with the, the offender personally. <laughs> what did you see upon awakening? <laughs> By Mystic Army, you were referring to the Golden Statue, correct? Just stabbing someone with the Shichitos, a sacred treasure, is terrible enough. But to then make Mystic Army hold the blade. Truly a heinous, despicable crime. It is easy to despise something. Anyone can do it. However, there is something that cannot be done so easily. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's doubly hard. Doubly hard for you. Anyways. What is the problem? Exactly why would the killer set up this gruesome scene? Can anyone explain the reasoning behind that? Hmm, no, I don't think I can. Cook bear? Mika. If you're talking, I definitely do not hear you. <laughs> oh, Pookie's. She's. Oh, wow. You know, I was going to say she's dead, but like, actually, this time. What the hell? Why? Why does this happen to me? I remember construction. Living room turned into a popcorn box. Et cetera, et cetera. Right, anyway. There isn't always a logical reason behind why someone acts. That's true. So true. In early spring, for example, I often find myself... There isn't always. That phrase might come in handy someday. There are too many unnatural elements in this case. Why was it necessary to use a shiti, the Shiti Shito from the Ami statue as a weapon? Why was the weapon ultimately placed back in the hand of the statue? If I can expose the flaws in this testimony, perhaps then I will begin to find the truth. So cool. Like the way he's so cool. It's clearly a lot more refined than Phoenix. Usually, what happens with Phoenix is he's like, "Man, I have no idea what's going on," and then Maya starts speaking up. Like, don't you find it odd that this thing and this thing doesn't really make sense? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's why he's saying like Edge is so cool. He can stand for like, oh. My husband. This isn't relevant yet. <laughs> Her in this picture, man. so ugly. Hmm. 
Like, why is she dead so ugly like that? Like, she died facing downwards in such a, like, a hideous way. Here is my question. Okay. Why is the blood... Hmm. No. Yeah. Hmm. No. Wait. Why is there blood on the tip of the sword? Yeah, not that's on... exactly what I'm thinking. Why is there blood at the tip of the sword, but not at the hilt? I'm gonna try that. Alright, Pookie. I'm here to give you that consent. You got it, Pookie. I'm oh, locked look, in! You're so fucking amazing. Look at you. Sorry. I get to not think for a whole stream? <laughs> wow, I don't have to help you this time? Shut up, Maya. <laughs> wow, Nick. You really suck. <laughs> See, it's because you're Edgeworth. Yeah, that's true. I just gotta be Edgeworth more often. My bad. My fault, gang. Yeah, get good. Sister Bikini. Honestly, red is just better than blue. You are a reliable witness. At least, I like to think so. But there are too many contradictions here. Well, what do you mean? You mean Cassandra is a liar? But you're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. Again, if I had a nickel for every single time Edgeworth rizzed up old women, I'd have two nickels. <laughs> what contradictions are you talking about? In the scene that the witness claims to have seen, the weapon was thrust up to the, its hilt into the victim. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both of these are completely impossible are complete impossibilities. The smoothness thing, I'm pretty sure, is like if that that wound has has to already have existed for the blade to slide out so cleanly like that. Or the blade was never inserted to begin with. That could be true. What if they were both on it? In on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna let myself, that doesn't make any sense, obviously, because she's dead. How are they, what, I, I don't know. Maybe there was a plan, but I, that seems unlikely to me, but you know, maybe you could. A plan to trap Maya on the other side of the bridge. For some reason. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, the fucking book writer girl fucking hated Maya from the get-go. I wouldn't be surprised. However, both of these are complete impossibilities. What do you mean? Please explain your- Ugh! Explain yourself! To start with, do you think it would be a- it would, it would be possible to stab someone to the hilt with this? No matter how I look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Doesn't appear? What meaningless dribble. I, too, may appear to be weak and frail. But I can crush men under my heel and make them weep. Should I ch so choose? Listen, comfort doesn't really count. <laughs> the objection starts. I wept, a l I wept a little back there, I must admit. That isn't the only issue here. If this soul was truly stabbed into the body up to the hilt, well, just look at all the branches on it. It certainly would not come out smoothly. That is also true. That's what I was thinking, but at the same time, it makes sense. The thing like is, if you stab inwards, it wouldn't be. It would be more difficult to stab inwards than outward than like removing it. Because removing it, it would already have the dents inside. What I'm thinking is, it would be difficult to stab through yeah. all the way because of all those branches. Now, what I'm <laughs> thinking is that. Let me go, please. <laughs> what I'm thinking <laughs> is that. Oh, no, what? What is it? Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Is that since the the way the branches are are aligned, there's never a single point where the sword is touching the edges of the wound. So there should be space for for blood to leak out. Does that well, make sense? I was thinking, yes. What I was thinking is more like, yeah. why is the is it why is the only the tip covered in blood? That, that's, that's like the I'm only thing too. I'm worried about. Because it should be at least like somewhat smeared in blood. It's not like the blood was like, gotta run. There's a blade. <laughs> gotta run. <laughs> gotta blast. You're too slow. <laughs> Oh, the white blood cells popping off. And it's like the fucking picture of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's like in that iconic pose of his hand between like his legs and his yeah, legs. Yeah, another yeah. one. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> we also have the problem of the amount of bleeding. It's true that when a blade is left in the body, it acts as a plug of sorts. However, when the weapon is shaped like this, it's an entirely different story. I was cooking. 
The wound would be too large for the blade to completely stop the bleeding. For the blade to completely stop the bleeding. Oh, what? I can't talk. But that's nothing more than a conjecture. What if I stab you to find out? <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> I am a woman. In reality, the victim was stabbed with a shichishitsu. Even a weapon of this nature may still sometimes slide out smoothly and may still sometimes stop the blood loss. That is a sentence. Yeah. I'm not finished. There's still one more conclusive contradiction. You've still got more! This one is simple. If the sword really was thrust in all the way to the hilt, why is there only blood on the tip of it? Ah! If this witness is telling the truth, then there should be blood along the entire length of the sword. No! See what I mean? Like. Ora, ora, ah! looks weird, far away. Bravo, Miles Edgeworth. I wasn't looking, so I'm sorry. Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence. All the other attorneys I know could maybe manage one, if that. What, do, what does this all mean? You have full contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but have you come this far? There can only be one answer. And that is? The weapon used to kill the victim was not the Shichishito. Shicho, Shishi, Shishi, Shishi. It's okay, not everyone can say it. <laughs> Shichishito, I'm not a little boy. Well, Maybe what? you need the dictionary. A foolishly fool. <laughs> <laughs> a foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a foolhardy foolish fool. <laughs> I can't believe I managed. Let's examine this again. What was it that what was it what was it that made us think the sword was the murder weapon? But well It's because Mr. Gammy was holding it. Exactly. However, if you reflect on this, that is the only basis we have to assume such a thing. The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what influenced us. It has influenced us to believe that the Shishishito, Shishishishishi, I hate this goddamn weapon, was the murder weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miles Edruff, you kind of just suck at this. Order, you order, lower, order. You can't even say ah. one word. So maybe the Shishishishishi was not the murder weapon. Not so easy, is it? <laughs> Shut up. Even if that's the case. It changes nothing, Miles Edgeworth. And it's Shichishitsu. The sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword-like object. Hmm. That's true. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth. Not so funny now, Edgeworth. If that is so, I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes. Namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear to? Hmm. It goes without saying that the police searched the main hall and surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to if a sword-like object was found. But that's... Answer the question, Miss Von Karma! No evidence of that kind was found. See? I kind of see it. Another mystery to throw onto the pile. A trial without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Excuse me, could I say something? I just remembered something, actually. What is it, sister? I was just thinking, it's possible. That just maybe, what actually happened was, it was just over there. What exactly are you going on about here? The murder, murder weapon, oh. I mean. Maybe. I got too excited. I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. You what? Well then. I think we need to hear the testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible. What else? What else could this old woman have seen? Witness testimony. Location of the weapon. I love this game. I saw the murder at around 11 p.m. And after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. And there, I saw tracks. Tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used. It takes 15 minutes to walk the dusty bridge. 
the ski bridge, but less than five. Using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out? I was gonna have done that. She can drive a snowmobile after all. Eek. That's a bit hard to refute. Hmm. Witness, please tell us everything you know right away next time. Well, I'm not in the best of shape. Both my back and my age, you know? Quite. Uh, there were indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here's a photograph. A snowmobile, eh? I see. Well, it certainly is an interesting theory. How did a snowmobile that goes out, like, someone took the snowmobile in or a snowmobile out? Because there's no tracks that it left, only tracks that it arrived. Anyways, you know what I mean? Like, if you look at the picture. I don't know, I'm pulling it up. That's not it. We don't have it yet. Okay. Rip. I'll, I'll, start, I'll pull it up when it pops up. The tracks begin in the front of Hazakura Temple. And run all the way to Dusky Bridge. I mean, that is kind of incriminating. Tracks photo. Taken that night from main gate to Dusky Bridge. Add to the court record. That solves your pesky little problem, yes? Oh, not this. Oh, I got go! And why is there? I'll skew for this case. He apparently holds some sort of grudge against White. Well, not anymore. My mentor. Manfred von Karma's daughter, born and raised in Germany, prosecutor at 13. Wait, she's still nine? Oh, she's 19. No, oh, yeah. she was 18. Oh, yeah. She Mine was 18 last game. Now. Sorry. My brain, my brain thought. Oh, never mind. I had the timeline wrong. You gotta brain. read them. Went to the inner temple for spiritual training and is now trapped there. I'm side detective at the local precinct in charge of initial investigation. I should probably read the names. Pearl Fay, Maya's cousin, was apparently with the victim at the time of the crime, currently missing. Godo, the prosecutor for this case, he apparently holds some sort of judge against Wright. Bikini head hunt, head hun, head nun of Hazakura <laughs> Temple. Discovered the murder. Her bad back really bothers her. Elise Donham, the victim of this, in of this incident. A picture book author of unknown age, Larry's teacher. Iris, the defendant, a nun from Hazakura Temple, doesn't seem to have any spiritual power. Larry Butts, my friend since grade school. I don't remember how we became friends, though. Francisca Von Karma, my mentor. I already read this one, so I'm not going to read one. My mentor is really interesting, though. Anywho, back to the picture. Um, like, if a snowmobile only goes forwards, I highly doubt it goes backwards. That means someone parked there. So from the bridge to the... What the fuck is this called? Uh, a Husker temple. Husker Temple. Yeah. So it's from the bridge to the temple, not from the temple to the bridge. Well, because if there was tracks from where it is, it would be going forwards and not yeah, behind. Yeah, but the person came back. But how would... But... but yes, what? There's also footsteps. <laughs> yeah, no, the footsteps is the thing I'm actually more focused on. But we'll come back to that. But they're, they're saying that they took the snowmobile all the way to the bridge. <laughs> To dispose of the weapon, surely. Yeah. But they couldn't have done that because there's it's only one way. What? No, they could just. It's still plausible. Yeah. I think I'm pretty, I'm yeah, pretty it's sure. not as plausible. It is very like. Hypothetical. Then there would be two tracks. That's the thing. Ah, uh, it doesn't necessarily. I mean, if they trace their path perfectly, you have to consider like this is a person. If they did this and they're guilty and they're trying to hide their tracks, you know what I mean. Derpy, not everyone's as smart as you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean this in, like, the worst way possible. <laughs> like, realistically, if you're going to fuck up that bad that you get caught stabbing a woman with a sword-like weapon, why would you also do this? Well, you know? listen, let's, let's let the game rock. Let's see what happens. Really rock? Stop. That's not what I'm I mean. back from Millie Rocking. The Eagle's Rivers current the Eagle Rivers current quite is cut. Who the Eagle Rivers current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in the winter, making it the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? Ah, the murder weapon was Mr. Wright. 
He Mr. Edgeworth, go cross emanation, please. Cross emanation, location of the weapon. You are sure about the time? Yes, I was worried about it, after all. Why was that? Sorry. <clears throat> Why was that? Because I have a strong sense of responsibility, especially at this time of year. The was being doused in freezing water at the time. I couldn't very well take it easy in the bath all night now, could I? So at 11, I decided to leave Hasakura Temple. The estimation of the time seems reliable, at least. Please continue, sister. You asked Phoenix Wright to report the crime, correct? Right, right. They've already trampled me. It seems she is the type to hold a grudge. There isn't a phone in the main hall, so I sent him to the bridge. Phoenix Wright. He didn't even have his cell phone on him. He had forgotten it at home, apparently. What a naive boy, as always. Not only do I always carry my phone, but I always have my whip in hand, too. Anyway, I was really scared. It was taking him a while to get back. So I thought I'd go out by the main gate for a spell. Did Wright not use the snowmobile? No, he just ran, no? I don't actually know if he did or didn't. As I recall, there was a snowmobile outside the main gate when I visited. That's it. That's the only one we have. It'll run no matter how much snow falls. Now you're certain the snowmobile was there at the main gate when you arrived? Yes, of course. I was parked in front of the gate. So, she had already gone, discarded the murder weapon, and returned by that time. I'm not sure if this is really relevant. What should I do? I need answers to every possible doubt. Snowmobile in question. Was it still warm at the time? Huh? 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 What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, eh? What do you mean, Miles Edgeworth? I'm playing to a slow crowd here. It goes without saying that using a snowmobile would heat its engine. If it was still warm, then it means it was recently used. Ah, oh, I see. I never thought of that. Hmm, that's right. I overlooked that too. That was honestly a pretty big brain. Of course you did. Could answer the question, please, witness. I don't often go around touching hot engines. Hmm. However, now that you mention it, there wasn't any snow on it. Snow? Yes, for some reason, only the snowmobile wasn't covered in snow. So, what is this? There wasn't any snow on it. Curses! Seems highly unlikely that the killer did use the snowmobile then, eh? How long does it take to get to Dusky Bridge by snowmobile? In that case, why did you use it yourself? You could have spared yourself some walking. Ah, huh, there's a reason for that. Have we got a moment for me to explain? Well, then that's why the question was asked in the first place. It was about a month ago. I was driving my beloved little snowmobile, happy as can be. I had fetched some water and my I was heading back when I crashed into a tree. The tree and my back both went crunch. Just like that. Crunch. Hmm. Crunch. I haven't been able to find the courage to write anything since then. Anyway, the killer must have used it. Hold it. Refresh our memory. How long were you knocked out for? Like I said, sorry between 10 to 20 minutes. It's possible to get back to... <laughs> it's possible to get to the bridge and back in 10 minutes using the snowmobile. I have to concede that is more than enough time. Is that all you wish to concede, Miles Edgeworth? <laughs> well, it would have been possible, time-wise. One element remains out of place here. Oh, and what would this mystery element be? The killer's reasoning go on. Why did the killer do all of this? Why go to the Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon without other methods? Hmm, too many unanswered questions. The response, Miss Von Karba. Wah! Turning to me to help over the slightest thing. 
Why don't you think for yourself once in a while, your honor? What? She's as over the top as always. That's why she's a badass. Uh, anyways. Whatever the reason, the fact remains that the defendant could have done this. The murder weapon was disposed of the river. Another point to me, Miles Edgeworth. And the mystery to feed the fire. Was there any reason to go and throw the murder throw away the murder weapon? Luckily, there's surely a problem with his testimony. All I have to do is stop start poking holes in this flawed account. I think it's so cool that she gets ahead of herself and then she like has a little slip up. Yeah. Sorry. I love her. I could go for a huge pint of milk right now. Green green. Like a cake. Ah, uh, I'm I'm starting to get stumped. I don't know. So the better I'm alive. After asking, after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. There it was. Tracks, tracks the thing, gave the snowmobile up in use. So that implies that she saw it. So Phoenix had already left and he didn't use the snowmobile. Okay. So he managed to walk to the ski bridge with less than five. The weapon to eco vehicle and came back while it was knocked out. <laughs> was there any reason for the murder weapon to be thrown out? In the manner it was. I'm this... still on my thing of it's it's the tracks. There's only one tracks. Come on. You cannot use the thing if there's only one track. Hmm. Please, dear PJ. I'm so confident that it's like this statement, and then you present the like image of the that we this? just received. No, the one that's like they could have gone to Eagle River and back. This one. Objection! Nice cook. I admit this photograph proves something. It proves that the snowmobile was used on the night of the murder. You finally accepted the inevitable. It seems, Miles Edgeworth. However. If what the witness says is true, then why is there only one set of trucks? I cooked! Yeah! Good job. From the get-go. Francisco, you're slow as fuck. Come on, girl. You're, you're better than this. What do you mean? I was left Hazako at Temple, threw the weapon in, into the river, and then returned. If this is the case, then naturally there should be two sets of trucks in the snow. Those from heading out to the bridge, and those from coming back. Ah, you're right. Hmm. You're forgetting one thing, Miles Edgeworth. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. But then why is the other truck visible there? The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snow. This removes your precious contradiction now, doesn't it? I see. While she was at the river, the snow stopped. Here's the problem. Why are the footprints still there? Choo-choo! Look at you cooking. My little cookbook. Leaving just the return tracks in the snow. What do you have to say now, Miles Edgeworth? Is there a flaw in her theory? The idea that the snowfall covered one set of trucks. The tracks of the river were covered by snow. What a nice theory. However, Miss Von Karma, that is impossible. Oh, right, that's me. Would you care to explain? Why, there's a rude index finger currently pointed in my general direction. 
No need. The evidence will do all the talking for me. Do we even have the evidence? On the night of the murder, the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge. In order, to, in order to dispose of the murder weapon, the ongoing tracks were erased by the snow. Or so claims this on Karma. Mr. Edgeworth, please present your evidence to the contrary, eh? Evidence that the outgoing tracks were not covered by snow. Don't we have, like, a weather report? Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow, 7 to approximately 1050. Lightning to 10 to approximately 11. I never read Thumbs this. Up. But yes. I just said it because I remembered having one. and I was going to check it eventually. <laughs> My God, someone died. Me when I died. <laughs> my bad, that was my shiki sheet, so. Witness, please tell us again what time it was when you witnessed the crime. Like I said, it was around 11. Of course. This means that the weapon was thrown away after that time, correct? On that note, please take a look at this data. It is the weather report for Eagle Mountain on the night of the murder. The weather report. Snow started to fall at 7 p.m., but it stopped Ooh. at around 10.50. Hi, Kiki. Hello. Go you back good? to Sleepy. Go back to Sleepy. No, go back to Sleepy. It's... No, go back to Sleepy. <sighs> Stop purring. Go to sleep. Go She's to sleep. She's feeling cute. Stop. Stop. Why are you waving at me? Girl. Go to sleep. Hi, Kiki. Go to sleep, Kelly, not you too. Whatever. She do what her sister do. Fine, let's... What? Yeah. Therefore, when the sister witnessed the crime at 11 p.m., the snow had already <laughs> stopped falling. It is impossible for any tracks made after that time to have been covered up. Ah. Cooties! Order, order! Cooties. Very well, then. It looks like Miss Von Karma's claim has been snowed in. Ah! <laughs> this is a really cute little pun sequence. I like this. Also, Lee, I'm really sorry to hear that. I haven't gotten the chance to address it, but I'm sorry that happened. Whenever me comes back, we'll continue. Too soon to be closing this trial due to snow. I love this little pun to you. Miles Edgeworth, how pathetic of you to rely on the weather of all things. Answer me this then. When is a weather report ever correct? You're coping. Ah, no, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. This isn't a forecast. This is actual data. Wah! Forecast data, all weather reports have some inaccuracies. It may have still been snowing in the vicinity well past 11 p.m. Hmm. It's true. We cannot be totally sure, eh? But what? How did she pull that off? It had stopped snowing at Hazakura Temple when the murder took place. You need to provide a conclusive evidence of this. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Very well. I, too, cannot allow any doubt to remain concerning this testimony. Huh. You can't back it down, can you? Such a perfectionist, Miles Edgeworth. Very well, then, Mr. Edgeworth. Where is your evidence that it, that it already had stopped sewing when the victim was killed? The picture of the murder, because in the picture there should have been snow. That's my thought. 
That's my big old brainy thinky. That's my brain thinking all the clogs, the cogs in my head is going <laughs> Like there should have been snow in that picture. There should the snow, there should have been snow on the murder picture. Because if there's snow on the murder picture, it, it would be snowing. You'd see the snow. Cooked. Ultimately, it all comes down to one point. That being, whether or not it was snowing in that courtyard when the victim was stabbed. That's right, but proving that is... Incredibly easy. Hmm? Let's go, Edric, put that pressure. If we want to know whether it was snowing or not, this photo will tell us everything. Of course, I am referring to the photo of the crime scene. As you can see, everything is covered with snow. With just one exception. And that is? The victim herself, Miss Elise Donham. Why is there no snow on top of her? The answer is simple. It had stopped sewing when she was killed. That's why. Ugh. In other words, if the killer really did go to the Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon, then in this photograph, there should be two sets of tracks. Sorry. Ugh. Order, order! Just what are you- Ugh. Just what are you suggesting, Miles Edgeworth? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself, but... Oh, he's pulling a phoenix! This is simply what all of the facts point to. That night, someone used a snowmobile to leave Hazakura Temple. <laughs> when the tracks left, it can be understood that they were heading for Dusky Bridge. At the time, it was still snowing. Of course it was, because it was those tracks that were erased by the snow. Then, when this person returned to Hazakura Temple, the snow had stopped. Thus, the return tracks were made. Hmm. Can I say something? No. This all sounds a bit fishy to me. What does, sister? There is only one key for the snowmobile. Furthermore, on the night of the question, we know that the defendant had it. The key was found in her room after the murder. But that means she couldn't have done it! Which can Francisco. only mean that night. I was just a soul to get to go to the inner temple. But I said that she never went there. Should probably press on this point some more when I get the chance. The soul can't cross the suspension bridge. So she must have fought it on the Hazakura side of the bridge and cross on foot. That sounds right. But what's odd is when I left Iris and returned to Hazakura Temple. I didn't see anything near Dusky Bridge. It, you must have just failed to see it, sister. Oh, stop coping. All right, because she didn't have the time to manipulate her victim into- er, er, sorry. Manipulate her into saying what she wants. So she yep. can just- yeah. Yeah. Maybe when I made it back to Hasakura Temple. It was there, at the main gate. The snowmobile, I mean. And it's covered in extra snow. More snow than we do. Usual. Want to be. I know what I saw. It was covered in snow too. But oh, but that is it possible? Order, order, order in the court. What does this all mean? Mm. So then, what was the snowmobile used for? It wasn't taken by the defendant when she went to the inner temple. If it had been, then the witness couldn't possibly have seen it by the gate. Furthermore, it wasn't used by the killer to dispose of the murder weapon. I if that was the case, it. there should be two sets of tracks in this photo. Yes, you should pop off for this. This is a very good picture. I really, no, I was going to say, I really do enjoy the fact that they're bringing back every other case of this game into this final one. Like, they've done in other games, but like, oh, we got two people saying two different things. We also have, like... The thing of like Met on Guard, where it's like, is she saying the truth? Is she lying? Oh, we like bringing know. back those kind of like 
I guess story tropes, I guess it's not really tropes. Yeah, like for example, during the recipe for Tsunabo, ooh, Maggie saw one thing, but uh, Kudo saw another. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I really like it. All we know is this. After it stopped snowing, someone used to, the snowmobile to return to Hasekura Temple. What I will say, it's it's a lot like the game's like basically testing you on everything you've done so far to see if you can handle it all at once. Hmm. Mm. Can you do up. anything else aside from saying hmm, dumbass? I never thought a simple snowmobile could cause so much trouble. I think we've learned all that we can from this witness. Yes, yes, I've nothing more to add. I've told you everything. Everything that I know. But then, that still leaves us with the same problem. If only there was someone, a witness who could testify to have seen, to have, having seen the snowmobile. A witness, huh? Oh no. Was there no one out, walking perhaps, near Dusky Bridge on that night? No, guys, please. I don't think that's likely. It's cold enough to freeze your ears off. Only an idiot would go out wandering in that. Wandering in that. Unless they had something really important to do. Hmm. That's a shame. Hold on. Something is coming to me. An idiot may well have gone wandering out on that sub arctic night. Your Honor. Actually, there just might be one individual who may be of help to us. But really? You know of someone who might have seen the snowmobile on the night of the murder? I don't know for sure if he saw it or not. But there are two things about him that do come to mind. Which are? First, that he saw something incredible on the night of the murder. And the second being? This individual that I am thinking of went wandering outside on that cold night. In other words, he is all kind of idiot. <laughs> I love him. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this idiot you are talking about? Hello, Larry Butts. This guy must be the product of Jean-Luc. Okay, you gotta read this shit for me. Jean-Luc de la Duc guide, guide to obnoxious French painting. This is Larry Butts, a disciple of the victim, Elise Dunham. Her student, interesting. And why was he wandering a boat outside on the night of the murder? That's... You can tell them all about his designs for Iris. It may cause his credibility as a witness, before I even called him. He is, after all, an artist. He was perhaps searching for something in the snowy scenery that would move him. Although I cannot guarantee that this is the reason. That's crazy. Pika! Pika! Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. And so, this unfortunate, unreliable looking man. What exactly was it that he saw? I intend to extract that from him right here in this courtroom. Summon this user as a witness immediately! I have no choice, do I? I believe he's in the gallery for this trial. It will not take long to summon him. Very well! Larry. You may have escaped me yesterday. But today, I'm going to get everything out of you. The court will now adjourn for a 20-minute break. Miss Von Karma, please see to preparing the next witness. Understood your... Sorry. Understood, your honor. No comment. Good. Well then, court is now in recess. To be... Continued. Oh no, it's to be continued. Which we will not, apparently, because you're mean. You're gonna be like, it's nearly eight, we gotta stop. Okay, friends. My good. little heart is going to die and explode. I'm going to pitter patter right out of your chest, out of pain. And I'm going to pitter patter this whip into your ass. That's gonna be it for today's stream, guys. If you guys didn't no! <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> for real this time, that is gonna be it for today's stream. I had a lot of fun. This is this is, trial is so cool. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. Okay, now 
we gotta find a day to pick this up because next week is Splatfest. Actually, wait, never mind. We'll stream it on Friday anyway. I don't care. Yeah, I'm like it's it's starting at eight. Stream it, even if this Splatfest. Yeah, Splatfest well, not always. Eight, so. It's because we're in like the time zone where the shop resets at eight. So the the Splatfest starts at eight for me, and it's like rah, well for us, but oh, it's awful. That's good. Oh yeah, it's good me. because Ace Attorney. Yippee. Um. Yippee. Anyway, for real, that's gonna be it for today's stream. If you guys enjoy it, thumb, uh, pro tip, super duper pro tip, drop a like down below because that's the like button's for. Um, subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you haven't done so already. Although, if you sat around for a four hour goddamn Ace Attorney stream with two goobers, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd be a little weirded out if you didn't hit the subscribe button. Unless you're like one of those people who don't like subscribing to people. Those exist. Totally. We, uh, we should kill him. We should kill this man. Put your hands up, Mr. Goopy G. That's your hands down. <laughs> Listen, man, what did I do? Don't worry, guys. This? I'm just devastated. Stop playing the game in the I'm background. Not. Stop oh my playing. god, I'm going I'm to the play. I'm going back to the goddamn title screen! Did you know that in the title screen there's the uh motive for Maya's theme? Yes, I had it earlier. Because like I was I was like doing my own thing and I had it very oh, yeah, did in it the it background. No, it's like you can hear. Yeah, that. And it's like, I heard that and I was like, we started already? Hold on. <laughs> and then I looked up and I was like, oh, it's the title screen. Oh, womp womp. Anyway, uh, I was I was interrupted in the middle of my ending the stream spiel. How dare you? I'm sorry. I no, love the okay. stream. Anyway, um, what is it called? Twitter and Discord down in the description. Please check out Mika, please. I, I beg of you. She streams every weekday when she's feeling like it. Um, He's also on Twitter, posting art all the time. Follow the main, follow yeah. the sketch account. Um, and Tumblr. Follow my oh. Tumblr. Yeah, I gotta add the Tumblr to your, to your command. That's what I'll do. Or maybe I should just make like a... Can I just link it to your card? And can you put all your socials on there? <laughs> yeah, my card. Womp womp. You can't contact me because I'm la 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 lazy. <laughs> you gotta... You should work on your card some more. No, that's the charm of it. But like, do, do, I don't know, at least make it look do, do, like the, the do, yellow hurts my eyes, please. Do, 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 do. I know. Do, 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 do. Anyway, do, sorry, do, enough yap. Do, I'm gonna go get myself some food. Mika, do you wanna do some last words for the stream? Sorry. Sorry, I memorized your ending stream music. I love you, chat. And, oh, I like to say I love my wife. I'm so happy she's back. I'm happy too. And, uh,. Thank you, JPG, for having me around. I really like being in these streams, and they give me a reason I wake up every day because I'm one day closer to seeing my wives once more. <laughs> and once I'm, I'm happy you have fun. These streams are really, really fun to do. I love Ace Attorney. This game's a little too good. I digress. It's amazing. I will catch you guys on Sunday for some Sunday splats. Bye bye. Get out of Yo. my face. <laughs> I love my wife. Lee, you now can't love her wife. She already loves whipping. her. It's time for whipping. Whoops, whoops, whoops.